Hello, uh, dear channel. How are you today? So today you will see me from the side. Well, that's just because the only position for the camera is on this side. And well, hello. I will rarely be looking at the camera because I'm looking at the screen. So, welcome to this 3D jewelry stream. Um, let me see. So, I'm ready, but we're going to wait just a couple of minutes because I'm a couple of minutes early. And, um, and let's go to Mm, let's go to yeah, let's go to the chat. So how do I get there from here? That's I uh, yeah, I know here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so today I will be modeling 3D jewelry in, in Blender 3.6. Actually, let's go to the splash screen right there. So you can see Blender 3.6.1. Mm, okay, there. So hello and welcome. Okay, and um, well, what time is it here exactly? Oh, just one minute. <laughs> one minute. <laughs> That's pretty great. So, oh no, um, let me see, let's go to, Okay, so obviously there's <laughs> Okay, so what can I do? But I think we're okay. Uh, someone from uh, the chat can tell me if uh, if uh, you're seeing the stream that's my question because uh, I'm streaming in 4k but YouTube is telling me that I need to change the resolution but obviously I can't change the resolution <laughs> so so um, I, I, I guess it will be okay we'll see Ah, okay, I know. Um, can I change the latency? Let me see that. No. Well, somebody from the chat. Well, I guess people is joining, so I guess you're seeing the stream. And uh, can I change? Nope, I can't change this right now. Well, <laughs> Maybe somebody. Okay, so I hope the stream is all right because I am an error message. But anyway, I'm going to make. Oh, 
Well, anyway. So let's get started. Error or not. So, okay, great, thanks. <laughs> Good to know, thanks. Welcome. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to create a ring and today I, I just want to create, I, I had an idea on what Saturday may be. So let's start with the mesh, uh, the finger size. So let's go with the circle. Let's go with many vertices here. Okay. And the size, so finger size seven, item um, location zero. Here we're going to go at 17.3. Okay, let's save this for a second. This is going to be the live stream, live stream ring. So the goal today is to create something very nice. So the design is going to have a pearl, so mesh sphere. Let's put a bit more of segments right here. And this uh, pearl, eight millimeters, it's a pretty big pearl. Okay, let's move it up here. Okay, so this is Blender 3.6, uh, 3D jewelry design live stream. And this is going to be a pearl. Okay, great. So now I'm going to use a sphere to create a structure. And you're going to see what I'm going to do with this. So the sphere. Okay, x rays uh, right there. Now, down here, let me check. Okay, down here, I'm going to check the thickness. I want at least 1.5 down here. So here you can see I always use meshes to check the size, the measures, because obviously I'm making a real life um, measure. So because the, this ring is going to be 3D printed, so I need uh, and why now? <laughs> now is the camera. The camera is out already. But why? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Why did the camera uh, no updates? Why is the camera out already? <laughs> okay, so I'm designing this ring, all right. Top view, always some technical. It's the only thing that I need to know here. Why? Come on, camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I should hire maybe, I should hire somebody maybe. Okay, the camera's back on. Sorry, technical issues here and there. Okay, so. Thickness here, I want this size. So this is going to be a sphere project, pro project, all right. <laughs> so now I want, I'm going to copy this. And uh, okay, now here I'm going to append a, a diamond let's go for a diamond for reference for a size reference so where can I get the diamond here let's bring one of these object 
So I'm just going to append the diamond from uh, another. Uh, this one's not good. I need something uh, aligned to the view. Okay. So at the beginning of um, at the beginning of my streams, everything is always very chaotic. You should know that. <laughs> always very slow. But that's that's my way. I'm always very slow at the beginning because I'm putting things into place and uh, you might not understand or enjoy the beginning of the stream. But people who know my channel know that if you stick around, many amazing things happen. So be a bit patient. You know, patience. We're jewelry designers, we're jewelers, so patience is always very very important so no I need a diamond okay let's append the diamond from the, the library I have here from the assets so this famous gemstone collection assets let's go directly to my own source yeah the beginning is always always All right, so I need, I want a two millimeter diamond and I'm going to pan this to the side right here. So you people don't worry. Enjoy the stream. And uh, we need, so I want some diamonds here to the side. Okay, let me mat cap this differently. Let's go to this let's go to this and this okay this is pretty good now i need a front view okay is this good this is pretty good now let me see let's make a mirror for this I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut this on the Y axis based on the pearl. Okay, we have this. Now, I want this to be Boolean. Let's remove this on the side right there, H. Okay, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice, but <laughs> I need the sphere to be not so big there. It's too big here. Okay, let's move this. So I do this in edit mode because that won't affect the mirror location. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So now let's take the circle <laughs> this is great okay right so the circle uh this is the size seven size seven reference Ref oh. let's make a copy of this all right so this is going to be a cylinder let's go here minus 15 extrude on y 30 don't forget to check the normals right there okay we have this now let me take this and make a boolean there fast let's remove this great so this is already pretty good for a start, but that's only the structure. Okay, now let me append. Do I have, oh, perfect, this one. Okay, so that's the basic structure for what seems to be a very simple ring. Let me cut the top also with a cube. But obviously, we are going to model on this and make something really, really interesting. Okay, the pearl maybe a bit higher. 
overall here, it's what 16, 18. The gold ratio is all... Okay, so for people who know a bit about uh, jewelry design, you can see that the height of the pearl is set at the golden ratio. This is luck, it's sheer luck. But anytime I can use the gold number in the design, I am obviously going to use it, but never do that too much on purpose. Just an advice as a designer. Okay, here, this, now let's cut the top also. So another Boolean. Okay, let's remove the, the cube right there. So the cube, let's call this cube top cutter. So hello for everybody who's joining um, this 3D jewelry modeling and blender stream, live stream. My name is Damien. I've been a jeweler for 20 years, a teacher for 17 years and jewelry designer for 20 years. You can check the channel information if you want some uh, background, some of my background there. Okay, so we have this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this structure, but I'm going to make it as a mesh. So this is the mesh body mesh structure right there. Okay. It's pretty nice. Okay, so this is a copy of um, Of the structure this one has the modifiers so I'm going to hide it I'm going to hide it also remove it from uh, rendering already all the cutters and things I use for booleans I should remove from rendering obviously and let's do that already okay we're good here so now this is a structure and I want to do a lot of very nice things here so let's go to the side view Let's add a plane. So what I'm going to do now, I can do with, uh, depends. I can do with uh, curves or I can do with mesh. Hmm. I was thinking, okay, so let's do a, let's do, let's do curve. Let's, uh, let's do busy curve. Okay, this is pretty nice. And uh, we're going to turn on the the snap so the snap's going to face project center there and there okay and let's start easy with only two vertices here and there okay we're going to do this and that so now let's have a look okay it's pretty good it's projected so now that I have that, I'm going to create the tapper shape. So add curve uh, Bezier circle. It's going to be the profile, profile number one. And uh, let me go to this one. This is uh, body decorations, decorate body decorations great now 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 okay now let's go back to the profile okay and uh, a shape that I like a lot is the pyramid shape the soft pyramid shape like this so we get we have this a bit let's make it a bit wider okay this is perfect now about the size of the profile let's go at 1.5 as standard so control a all trans well scale okay the scale is good for this and let's take the this now resolution is what let's go at 50 for a 3d resolution now let's go at geometry bevel object let's take the profile right there so obviously the beginning is always very basic 
Okay, and now I'm going to create a taper curve at once to make the progress of the curve. So you add a curve, a uh, busy curve right there. We're going to use a multiple uh, multiply tapper right there to this curve. Okay, now let's set this. So let's scale it and uh, let's have a look at the handles. Okay, let's do it like this and let's end this. Okay, so not too big there. I just want a slight progression. Let's go to the curve. Okay, something also that I'm going to change the team viewport. I'm going to make it. Uh, let's. What color are we going to use today? A light. Uh, this is pretty good. You can see better, I guess. All right. So let's make this a bit more user friendly or viewer viewer friendly. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to append. Let's go for a gold material from another project. Where do you have this? Okay, this one is great. Let's use this uh, gold material right there. Gold right there. Okay, so this is going to be yellow gold. Yeah, today we're going to make a yellow gold. Ring. Okay, so we have this. So let's start. Okay, now I want diamonds uh, also at the top around the pearl. Okay, here I want I want diamonds here. So let's work this. Yeah, this is pretty good. Let's move it a bit higher here. Okay, so let's make the structure, always make the general structure first. So let's add an empty, empty plane axis right there. At zero. Uh, let's give it a 15 degrees maybe first. Now let's go for an array modifier, let's go at 24 from uh, object empty this one so the stone needs to reset its location well actually all the transforms on the stone okay so that's too many <laughs> okay let's go maybe at 16 so for the empty let's check the rotation 360 by 16 oh no this is almost good well, technically, it's just just all right. So what I'm going to do is move the stone a bit further away. Okay, it's starting to be pretty good, but I don't want it to be that high. Are we good with the height? No, it's too high. Let's see front view. No, that's all right. Let's move it here. Okay, but this is going to change. No, okay, I don't want the stone that far away from the. Hmm. Well, let's let's start deciding. But uh, down here or up there? I don't know. Okay, great, great. Why not? So we're still too many. I'm going to use maybe 12. Let's go at 12. Let's try 12 gemstones. So with that, I need to adapt the rotation on the empty divided by 12. Okay, it's a bit better. It's a bit better, but... Mm, I want more, so let's go back to 16. And this means that I need to... Okay, I have an idea. Let's move it here. 
this is good. Okay, so this is just the reference for that. We'll do something with this later. Okay, now let's start making the decorations with the Bezier curves. I can adapt the tilt right there if necessary. Uh, don't forget to fill the caps right here. Okay, great. Hello, like I said, some from time to time I will be watching at the camera just to say hello. <laughs> that I'm right there okay <laughs> and um, all right let me check something um, <laughs> the focus on the camera is totally wrong so is it coming back to me no it's not Ah, but it's because... Okay! <laughs> Hello, I'm in focus again! Always some technical issues that they make me laugh. Then people start to, to complain about, oh, the quality of your video is not good, whatever. We don't care, we're here to make jewelry design. Okay, so, we have this. So right away I'm going to uh, reset all the transforms on the curve. Add a mirror on X and Y. Okay, and let's go back to editing. <laughs> bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Hello, welcome, bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. So you, you see, slowly, very slowly, I'm always making all the technical problems go away. So here we are, and we're ready to make this design work. So let's go back with the snap, and we're going to hmm. We're going to test many. Let's subdivide this. Okay, nice. Let's uh, readapt the tilt. Oh, that's pretty nice. All right, let's come here. So very slowly. Very slowly. Putting things into place. To make something really really attractive so here I can reduce the radius slightly yes okay now I want I want to adapt something with the tamper I think this one is too low and the thickness here right. okay so let's get to work let's get to work let's start let's start adding some hmm. okay so this one this one needs to come here so sometimes I'm scaling the handles in Blender I love that you can scale the handles on the vertex it's very practical to to design a lot faster and I can also adapt the radius Bonjour, bonjour. Um, to make very clean curves. Because the goal of all of this is to have very smooth curves. And... Uh, The beginning is a bit slow. It's always a bit slow. 
So something important, I don't have any reference. I'm creating this design live right now. I have a very vague idea of the goal. And that's very different than when I stream about making a design for a client and customizing something. This is creation. And uh, it's a different game. Let's say it's a different game. And the rhythm is different. So now I want something. Okay, that goes to the side. Let's go here and front view. That's the back view. Okay, we need to be here. So if I can solve the side right now, that would be great. Okay, this one is too far. Okay, here, let's go top view. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're too far out now, too far in, too far out. Okay, welcome to the stream, hello. I'm in focus again, I, I hope. Did it stay in focus? <laughs> I think, yeah, let me see. <laughs> That's why I said that I should hire, yeah. I'm in focus, finally, after all. All right, let's keep designing. So let's start solving the side. Am I going to come here? Okay, this is too fat. Uh, this is way too big, sir. Here, what's going on here? Oh, great. <laughs> Okay, sometimes you can free the vector, free the handles. It's, uh, it's going to make a sharp, a sharp edge, a sharp turn. And sometimes it's going to work in your favor, sometimes it won't. So every time you extrude, something very important, some, every time you extrude a vertex, it extends the curve, but it flips it make it always makes a weird flip so that's why at first it's it's quite chaotic but you can always fix that and that's what i'm doing pretty fast okay so bit by bit i'm going to decorate not the entire body because the rest of the ring uh, will have uh, other type of decorations all right and uh hello hello welcome to the live stream hello how are you today okay this is pretty nice what i'm going to do is uh, uh am i going to okay i'm going to Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, are you Alexandra from Instagram? I think you are. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. Thanks for uh, following my work. Now here, okay, here we're going to do something. Cursor to select it. I'm going to bring a sphere right there. One millimeter sphere. And gold sphere, obviously. Shading smooth. Okay, that's pretty nice. Right there. Let's do it like this. Now here, this guy, let's bring it at zero if possible. You shouldn't do that at zero. Maybe. Well, hello, Alexandra, anyway. <laughs> And um, okay, we have this for now. Let's continue making the decorations on the ring. 
Now let's start maybe from here. Let's extrude there and let's really adapt the orientation right there. Now I'm asking because uh, I think last month uh, somebody, I think she was called Alexandra, I think. So maybe it's you, maybe it's not you, indeed. Uh, that she started, uh, well, she was drawing jewelry and uh, she learned 3D. Uh, <laughs> Hello. And well, the, the story was nice because she learned uh, 3D jewelry modeling uh, well, thanks to my videos, my tutorials, my channel and all of that. And uh, she was getting a job as a jewelry designer. And she was very happy. And that was great. <laughs> so it was very nice to share the story. And uh, he actually it's it's really nice my channel maybe doesn't have a huge amount of followers but i mean it's growing quite nicely we're reaching uh 13,200 uh, today it's pretty nice and uh, but what's great with my channel that i really love is that quite often i receive uh, messages, emails from uh, people that uh, share me their stories, their success stories, basically following my channel, following my tutorials. And they're working, uh, making like videos in India or getting a jewelry designing job in Poland or things like that. And um, that's the success of my channel. That's a real success, in fact. So, well, obviously, I hope that someday the channel will have many, many, many more followers. Because it's always nice to see the number follow the real success of the channel. But generally, the real success is somewhere else. Okay, let's uh, keep on working on this design. Okay, we're going to take this sphere and we're going to copy it right. Okay, one five, it's pretty good. Uh, it, ne it needs, this one needs to touch here and there. Let's add a mirror to this sphere. Mirror based on the pearl right there. Okay, that's pretty nice. So it means that I need to make this. This is great, thanks. This sphere a bit bigger. So let's keep adapting. So you can see that mostly I am using the snap, but from time to time, don't forget to uh, turn off the snap or otherwise my vertex is going to go. Ah, yes, the, uh, the, 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 from the tutorials, yes, a couple. Uh, Mold design I publish in the community. Let, okay, let's go with that question. There's one question there. Let's go to the let's go to the community uh, tab. Let me show you dear channel and dear follower asking a question. So from the tutorials, maybe just one or two, but uh, many things that I publish in the community tabs, like this one, like that one. Uh, these all these are are were made they're they're made in Los Angeles by a Mexican jeweler and uh, 
you can see this one so this one actually is the center of the bigger one this this clasp this customer customized clasp right here is uh, is this one in real life and it got we made new extensions to this clasp the the, the client asked well, he said, I want more diamonds and I want the class to be bigger. So we designed the extensions and he also asked for variants. He asked for the cylinder. So all these designs are, or this one, by example, in this video, this one is got also manufactured. So from, or this dolphin with a heart and the three heart shaped stones got manufactured. This one also. But by example, this one, the dragon scale ring from the very famous dragon scale tutorial. Um, well, sometimes, well, I used to manufacture them because I had the jewelry school and I had, I had my own workshop at the school and the school was very active designing and manufacturing jewelry. But that was before the pandemic and uh, I changed my life. So basically nowadays I'm on the computer all day long designing for, uh, for clients. And uh, I'm not even manufacturing because uh, I don't know. It's uh, yeah, sometimes, well, life changes, no? So, I mostly stopped manufacturing jewelry and now I'm designing jewelry. Well, I guess because I started to have more work as a 3D jewelry designer or as a 3D modeler, because sometimes they ask me to do more than just jewelry. I make 3D logos or 3D materials also for clients because they love my assets and I design materials for clients. And by example, because I have clients that made NFTs, so obviously NFTs are much out of, uh, of uh, shape, let's say, like nobody makes NFTs anymore because, well, it became, I think at the beginning, NFTs were not really a scam. And for many artists, well, I, I made many designs for people selling NFTs. So they would pay me as a designer, designing things for their NFTs, like materials, like I said, or logos. Mm. Well, actually I started, I was always a jeweler and a teacher. Like I said at the beginning, uh, I created a jewelry school in 2006 here in Mexico City and the school made me, yeah, the school made me famous, let's say, because yes, the school made me famous uh, because there are not, there were not, there are not that many jewelry schools around the world and I was very productive with my work as a designer with the 3D softwares. I had very big collaboration with very big um jewelry companies 10 years ago yes 10 years ago so i already had a lot of work now yeah the channel is bringing me clients but i had clients from before that so the story is a bit different because in fact yeah the channel obviously is helping uh, br uh bring new clients that's yeah that's yeah it's true that's nice <laughs> but i was already there before so i'm saying that because i don't want people to believe that i started with the channel and i made my clients from the channel i was a jeweler 20 years ago i was a teacher already 20 years ago uh and when you run, because I was the founder, I was the director and I was the teacher. I was, uh, obviously I hired many teachers later on, but then I, 
then I kept teaching and I took all the teaching and uh, myself again in 2012 uh, I started uh, teaching myself well I started teaching and making all the academic uh, philosophy and all of that uh, again so because teacher were not stable enough so that wasn't good for a school when you own a school you want to have very stable teachers and in the art field the problem is that it's very hard to find people with enough energy and the correct knowledge to be teachers so I had the problem that hiring teachers over and over again got me made me more problems than um, than uh, well really running the school and really teaching things to my students so in 2012 basically well I had to fire a couple of people but like I said teachers were so well mostly unstable and um, mm -mm -mm. that I took the entire uh, academic process on my shoulders and uh, there are a couple of in in London there are a couple of uh, of schools and uh, but by example in in the United Kingdom so nice to say that uh, where you're based uh, in the United Kingdom the difference is that the school in Europe they're they're not private schools they're public semi-private schools but they're mostly half of the the, the 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 administration of the school is supervised by the government because in Europe the governments have rules for education you can't just open a school uh, in a completely private uh, well as a private business let's say it like that but on this side of, of the Atlantic the difference is that and in Mexico there are not that many rules to create schools it's a good thing and it's also a pretty bad thing because obviously anyone can open a school uh, about almost anything so that's great because if you're good at what you do and um, you're creative like I was because I already had a lot of educational background I started teaching when I was 25 26 I was 26 when I started teaching so I was very young but because I already had uh, let's say I knew that I was good at teaching when I became what 18 when I was 18 I knew that I was good at teaching because I was already um, uh, 18 I was giving mathematical to I was a mathematic tutor for uh, young students that had uh, problems at school and uh, I got hired a couple of times at a math tutor on a private level in Switzerland and uh, that's when I already knew that teaching was something that I can do I could do as a living so it didn't happen just 
in one day it took years and then well then i studied jewelry as an apprenticeship uh, working with a jeweler for years and i was already a painter i was a painter for many many years so i was already an established artist i started painting when i was 18 also so giving mathematical tutorship was a side job for me that basically was almost one of my first jobs uh, teaching and um, <laughs> okay that's great yeah yeah some people are more have a more uh, varied life path or professional path so I was already a painter a professional art painter I was making ex exhibits I was selling art because I was working with a gallery. After two years, when I was 20, I started working with an art gallery in my city. I was selling way more than anybody was expected. I, well, uh, because basically nobody really believed in me but me and maybe the gallery and a friend of mine, my best friend, believed in me. But that was basically it. And art became freedom for me uh, to, well, let's say to escape a life and a family that never really believed in me. Now I'm, I'm okay with my family because they understood, but it took them like 20 years. I mean, that's crazy. So let's keep designing jewelry. But the, the thing is that I already had a lot of background before uh, doing, like now I really live from 3D modeling, but I was already making 3D modeling, poof, man, 20 years ago. So the switch wasn't that big, in fact. Uh, and well, mathematics, yes, because I, I did go to, uh, to the Polytechnic in, in Lausanne. Uh, my father was very proud of me when I was studying uh, to be an engineer, but I never became an engineer. I became a painter first, then I became a jeweler, but I was already making 3D modeling when I was 10 years old. And I was doing a lot of 3D modeling when I was a teenager in high school and that. Uh, Yeah, sometimes family is uh, is uh, is a weird animal. Um, most of my friends, they they had the same problem. They were like betrayed by their families. Uh, and uh, well, I'm I'm pretty glad they did somehow because that gave me a lot of freedom sooner but as you know you never give up on family you you just don't <laughs> i never gave up on my family but i had starting to well i you start dealing with your family different when they don't believe in you when they very easily betray you or drop you just drop you like that they have their own plans and they don't take you into account as a member of the family so you adapt you grow and you adapt and i think it's very important to grow uh not hating your family because i think you it's not good to to have hate in your heart Especially when you're an artist, it's not a good thing. Maybe if you're a boxer or something that requires you to be very violent as a job, it's may, it might be good to have some... Uh, 
Yeah, at 10, yeah, I started modeling very young because uh, my father bought a computer. Well, I was seven years old when my father bought a computer. We always had computers at home. And, um, and I was attracted to everything that was drawing or everything that was perspective, everything that was pixel art and everything that was animation, video game, uh, but video game making. I did a couple of video games when I was 15. They never became nothing, but I did complete a couple of uh, games, etc., etc. So let's keep let's keep designing here. Okay, so the process now that I'm running here is uh, is repetitive. Yeah, let's say it's repetitive, but but. Oh, are we going to? Okay, we're going to put a heart right there. I always to put. I don't know why people don't like hearts that much, but I mean, in jewelry, hearts are very common elements. Maybe that's why they don't like hearts. Uh, we see, we've seen maybe too many hearts. That's a shame. The heart shape is one of the prettiest shapes you can have okay let's turn this off for a second and uh, yeah and I think it's very important to to make uh, to have a lot of luggage if you want to be to create like an independent business of any kind because well remember we should always remember that we can live from many different things and also that we it's not only about making money I know when we are young, we all want to be millionaires, but in fact, there are many ways to be a millionaire. Uh, people, some people are millionaires, but not in money, but in happiness, by example, or in freedom, by example. So something I always fought for my entire life was to never lose my artistic freedom, to always be capable of saying no to the client and explain to him that some artistic uh, decisions might be bad. So to keep the capacity to say no to the client and obviously lose the money because you're canceling projects or because you, you have ethics, by example. And uh, I think that Many people don't take that into account. But remember, when you don't have values as a person and you only work for money and you think that ethics are not important, you are going to hurt yourself. The only person you can hurt really is yourself. So, and obviously that's something that many people don't like to be told. They think that making money, whatever the cost, the more money you make, the best you are, etc., etc. That's a human mistake, but that's a mistake you make once. Once you see your life completely destroyed, the story is always the same. You make a lot of money. The success goes to your head, you start drugs, you start bad things, bad behavior, and you destroy your life. And one day you wake up and it's too late. And people don't care. <laughs> You'll very soon find that people don't care uh, about you and about your life if you're just there for the money that's 
a huge mistake and obviously people don't like to hear that because they like money 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 give me the money give me the money give me the money and it's funny because obviously by example um, if if I was running my channel as I'm running it for the money <laughs> man it's it wouldn't work at all because to make money with a channel you need well let's say 1 million subscribers well you make money earlier but okay now here well this heart shape is pretty nice there okay let's keep okay so now before i complete the decoration at the top of the ring let's uh Uh, Marvelous Designer is a very famous software. Uh, yeah, I think Marvelous Designer is it's really great at designing fashion and clothes. Uh, I've heard of it. I've seen it in action in a couple of videos and I know it's a fantastic software. Obviously, I don't use it. Ah, the camera's gone again. I'm getting used to that. Every 30 minutes the camera goes off <laughs> because because why not mm, let me go back okay ta -ta -da, a bit of a pause so today obviously I'm going to be here two hours and we should be <laughs> where is ah, okay the software this is this is weird and the funny thing is obviously every time I test the camera software, the camera never disconnects. And every time I do a live stream, the camera disconnects every 30 minutes. And well, hello again. <laughs> and now we can see the, the autofocus square right on my face. Well, whatever. <laughs> I really need to hire somebody to work with me for the live streams for all the technical side. So I don't have to worry about that. yeah i'm i'm dead here on my bed you should know that i can't work i don't sit i can't sit anymore i told you that already so for people who don't know i have a very weird uh handicap uh, i have a bloodstream issue that is very rare it has no cure and i can't sit Basically, I, I need to, to work uh, on a bed, basically. So if you're asking why I'm in this position, there's a very bad reason actually for that. Uh, my hip, my left hip is destroyed. My left uh, foot is destroyed, basically. And uh, well, when I say destroy, it's like more symbolically because yes, I can run, I can jump but uh it's uh it's very hard to explain what i'm having as a handicap because it's real but you can't see it but believe me the pain is real and because i had an accident when i was uh yeah 10 years old i had a ski accident that got my leg trapped under the snow like imagine you have your leg trapped under 500 kilos half a ton of snow well there was my leg trapped under the snow and i almost died but i didn't die and over the years that accident started to affect my entire bone structure and uh, blood blood circulation uh, okay let's go back to design so down here down here i want to make okay i'm going to make a mesh structure let's start with the mesh structure on the bottom let's focus back here talked about my background and my life a bit and uh, we're pretty good so we're here to design jewelry again. 
<laughs> okay, mesh. Okay, now let's use a famous shrink wrap. Shrink wrap. Let's project this on my structure there. Here we are. I'm going to use nearest. Am I going? Yeah, I'm going to use nearest. So now also uh, mirror, mirror, mirror. Yes. So just form that. This is pretty good. And uh, let's go here. Okay. I want it to be gold. Yes. So what I'm going to do here, let's let's go like that. Now surface offset. Yes. Positive offset so we can see. Okay, perfect. Now here we are. So thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for sharing your stories. And let's let's get to it. I want to make an arrow shape here and the body. So let's see, half, I don't want to go higher than half of the ring, so half is going to be here. And we're going to focus on this design. Okay, and uh, this is pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. I like to sing when I design. So obviously, generally, I, I design uh, with music. No, that's not true. When I design, I never listen to music. When I'm not working, I listen to a lot of music. But when I'm designing, I like to sing sometimes <laughs> to make the sound effects when you're designing. This is, this is a very basic need of the designer is to make sound effects when designing. It's very... You know, like uh, the pirates or the sailors, they all have pirate songs. Well, we have, well, I don't have any designer song, by the way, I should have, but uh, you get the idea. You should be singing. So here I was singing the A-Team. Uh, everybody knows the A-Team. Uh, the French, no, well, obviously not, not a French sitcom, but the, the the American sitcom, but I was singing the French uh, version of the uh, opening uh, music, you know, the A-Team. So uh, I hope uh, YouTube won't uh, tag me with a copyright infringement uh, for singing the A-Team um, team song. Okay, we have this, we have that. This is pretty good. Okay, this is pretty nice, but I want this shape to be stronger, to be, to be, to be wider, I think even. Okay, so we're going to take this. I want it to be wider. I want to reset this. Uh, okay, this is really nice. Let's make this. The sheer effect again. Okay, but I want it stronger. <laughs> okay, this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. Okay, we have all of this. Now the thing is, I'm going to copy this and start putting names. Always put nice names. This is Buddy. Um, Arrow, body arrow. Let's call this body arrow and uh, body arrow point zero zero one because that's how Blender. Okay, so now we have this. I'm going to apply. Um, am I going to apply? Yes, let's apply everything here. And uh, that's why I made a copy. Let's go to edit mode. Let's extrude and scale down like this. Okay. 
Now I have this, but let's take... Okay, this is going to be an issue, but... <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. I want the center. Okay, let's select this like that. Okay, let's keep on having... Uh, Mm -mm. Okay, so we have this. Now this I want to be bigger. Like this. Question is why? Okay, so here I'm going to merge at center. Ah, but wait. Yeah, do why, 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 why? Okay, here we have emerging. We have too many vertices, so merge by distance. Okay, who? Okay, what I'm going to do here? We have the mirror. Yeah, I should have applied the mirror because I don't need to apply the mirror. So let's remove one side. Okay, we have this now. I need. Something important here, when you have mirrors, you can remove the inside edges. Like all of that, I can remove edges, edges, okay. Edge here, okay, that's great. Now, we have a weird, okay, there's one vertex here that I don't need, basically. Okay, let's remake. This face was like... Okay, now mirror. On X and Y. Okay, perfect. This is the shape I have for now. But, let's make a boolean. Let's make a boolean of this. Obviously for a finger size on the inside. So this is this one. Okay, here it's making a bad. Let's have a look at the normals for a second. Face orientation, yeah, that's what I thought. Making weird uh, results for the Boolean. Now there's still a weird behavior. Okay, so when you have that weird behavior, we can remesh. This is one solid, so before a Boolean. Uh, but after the mirror, come on right there. Okay, great, let's go at zero, four, smooth. Okay, this shape is pretty nice. So that's for the body, the bottom part. And let's make a bevel of it. Uh, yeah, obviously before, before the boolean. Okay, let's remove the boolean for a second right there. So before remeshing, we need the boolean right there and subdivision surface. Uh, three levels, yes. And before the boolean, yes. And before the remesh, yes. Okay, we have this. This is pretty nice. There's just something weird. Let's see who makes the problem. <laughs> okay, so here there's something. Okay, there's. Who is making this problem? Why, why, why? Okay, it might be that we're not properly on the y axis. Yes, that's a problem. S, Y, 0 right there and zero on y this should be okay that's correcting the issue here and there okay that was the issue so we need to be very precise when we are on the mirror mode okay we have this now i'm going to copy this on the y-axis but here i'm going to add a tapper Deformation. Yeah, 
Well, the, the, the thing is, uh, I started teaching Blender uh, 10 years ago. No, not that many. Six years ago. Well, the thing is that Rhino is, uh, well, I never like using the same softwares that anybody is using. Um, and, and also because in Mexico, by example, but I know in many countries, everybody uses Rhino, but because nobody is paying for Rhino. Uh, the piracy level of Rhino is so bad. I don't know how the company lives, actually. I don't know anybody who has bought a license of Rhino. And I think that's bad because I... I was talking about ethics earlier and... Okay, here I am. Okay, let's focus here. Okay, let's supply everything. Let's supply the mirror. Let's. All right, that's it. Okay, so the issue with Rhino is that I don't like it, but also because Blender is amazing and it's open source and. Everybody I know using Blender is happy to be using Blender because it doesn't put you in a bad position. All everybody I know using Rhino, they lack well, they don't buy any license for Rhino or Rhino Gold or even Matrix. They they never buy the software. And um, it's obviously a bad thing. And uh, that's why I never liked Rhino because people are using Rhino illegally everywhere. And I did not want it to do that. I had better goals for me and my students because when you're a school and uh, being a school and uh, using uh, non-licensed softwares that's a very bad idea that that would be that's that would have been a very bad idea so obviously so that was it in mexico everybody uses rhino and rhino gold and matrix but illegally so as a jewelry school director and teacher i had to find another solution and the solution to that problem was obviously Blender. So I started using Blender. I tested Blender to see if it was working great to make very complex, because that's what I'm going to show today once again. Um, Blender makes lets you create whatever you need to create. There's no limit but your imagination. The tools are here in Blender. The tools are here. And um, and it's up to you. So, uh, um, let me see if I can reduce the height of these. Is it necessary? No. I'm going to like Yeah, so I, I came to Blender. Yeah, I cast my work. Actually there's a picture. <laughs> let's go to let's go back to the uh I know I can do it there. I can do it here. Um let's go. Yeah my, my work gets cast uh, there are a few examples on the community tab on my channel. Uh, there's one platinum. Okay, this is one example. It's, but there's a better one down here. This one. This one is platinum. Uh, this has been casted in platinum. So yeah, the jewels get manufactured. This one I'm going to manufacture myself this year or maybe next year i think next year honestly 
there are, okay, so this is the design done in Blender and uh, this is the casted uh, picture that the jeweler sent me in Platinum. Okay, so this is a quick example. Because yes, I do get this question a lot. Uh, and yes, my designs get manufactured every day or every week. Um, because otherwise it wouldn't be very uh, interesting to be doing my work. So we have this here, there and that. Yeah, you print, I've printed, I started printing myself in, uh, well, I was printing in 2008 that were printing for me because it was impossible to buy a printer in 2008 because a printer costed like, <laughs> Oof. half a million yeah half a million dollars easy more or less a good sol solid scape was 15 million pesos mexican pesos that's like seven seven hundred thousand us dollars back in 2008 so obviously they were printing for me and I was sending to, to bi printing businesses during like eight years. I started printing in 2016, 2017, maybe. I was printing with a solid, uh, Solus Treaty. The Solus Treaty is a very famous printer. Yeah, nowadays everybody prints. It's very easy, it's very cheap. <laughs> And you should be printing your own designs. It's a lot of fun. It's really fast. It's really high quality. Now you can get an 8K printer and the printers are evolving very fast. They're very cheap. The resin, just to put an example, the one liter of B9, B9 American resin, one liter costed like uh, $600 five years ago six hundred dollars a liter nowadays one liter costs fifty dollars of other brands because you have so many brands of re resin printing nowadays it's crazy so but now I, I have a printer at home here but i don't print much anymore like i explained earlier I'm designing, I'm customizing things for clients most of the time. That's my, well, let's say it's my job or my occupation, but it's my job because I do make money. Yeah, you should. That's great. That's why we're here. Okay, so we have all of this. Now I want to start bringing uh, more of this design, but I'm going to change the shape a bit. Okay, let's bring this right there, this right here, uh, on Y, no, on Y, no, on X, okay, on X, yes. Yeah, 3D printing has evolved in a very nice way where is this sphere where is the Wait, whatever ah it's there that's why <laughs> has evolved actually in the very good direction you have many printers you have very nice quality of prints uh casting resins uh are easier to cast now uh the process is uh very nice it's very fun to print honestly okay great yeah yeah so you have a, a new printer i have a 4k uh reality one halot one before that for years uh, i had the solus 3d printer it's a california taiwanese printer it's a very good printer the resolution was uh, higher than any other printer back uh, back then. Uh, we're talking like six years ago. Uh, 
Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we're... So, the evolution of 3D printing has been amazing. Amazing. The cost, the speed, the quality. And... Um, it's a good business also. Printing is a good business. So, if you make your own... Okay, great. Yeah, the EasyCast is very famous. So you have a lot of printer options. You have a lot of resin options. The printers are very small. They don't make much noise. Uh, you can send the 3D model using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. And the evolution was very fast. And that, that's great. And for jewelers, by example, that's amazing. It changed many things. And actually, that's why I, re I, I mostly retired from what I was doing before I closed the jewelry school. I don't make jewels anymore. So that's a problem also for a channel because yes, I was a jeweler for 20 years. But now I don't manufacture jewels and the jewels I designed, other people manufactured them, but generally they don't send me pictures because Copyright. The problem is that if we publish too much of the designs we do, you know that people copy, they copy everything. So the design I make on the channel, well, people copy them. That's great. I'm inspiring people. Uh, and if I manufacture it, everybody knows I designed this because it's on my channel. So if you copy that, it won't be long before anybody knows that it came from my channel anyway. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. <sighs> yeah, ZBrush. Well, would I prefer doing everything? I love sculpting in Blender. Uh, ZBrush is, uh, is great. But in fact, I do quite a lot of 3D sculpting, but not, not that much to worry uh, using ZBrush really. Okay, let's go back to this. So now here, I need a couple more. I need a couple more of little spheres. Let's make some. Okay, here, uh, here. Ah, let's go there. This is pretty good. Let's change this orientation. Oh wait, not up the stone. Okay, great. So, and actually, I'm really a designer. I create designs and that's something very rare. Uh, most people copy designs. So my job, uh, that's why I print my designs. I manufacture my own designs. But most 3D models people ask me to do are not original designs. That's where the money is. Creating designs, well, you create them for your own clients and making the jewels. Actually, I'm making a video that should come out uh, maybe this week, maybe next week. It's a very interesting video about jewelry design and becoming a jewelry designer and what many people don't understand. <laughs> okay, so let's keep adding some little... Yeah, but the, the thing about Rhino is Rhino is, uh, is from the past. Honestly, it's, a, it's a, uh, a thing of the past. Uh, and I'm, I'm saying that because when you see Blender 4 is coming out, actually, I'm going to use Blender 4 like this week or next week. I think next week. Well, this week I will install Blender 4. And the evolution also, I want to make more videos about the simulation nodes, geometry nodes and all of that. But there's so much to do with Blender. And uh, we have the VDMs now. I did a tutorial about VDMs. Um, 
when 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 they came out and uh, the evolution evolution rhino is not evolution anymore and blender is evolving actually for some people it's evolving too fast and well <laughs> it is somehow but um well the world change changes the life changes faster than it used to i think uh, i was talking about that uh people are changing jobs more often than they used to because it's even because it also it's better for you i think it's healthier to change job and also because uh, you're trying to progress and you can progress faster than before and also because ai is uh, coming and the funny thing is that in my job ai is not a threat it's a tool but i'm not going to lose my job to ai not anytime soon and actually i'm going to, i'm also explaining that in an upcoming video uh so obviously i'm talking about video but uh i'm pro it's a lot of production time i'm making a video that's requiring a lot more uh editing than usual it's not like your usual tutorial and well because i don't have time to make tutorials i'm here uh, live streaming hello <laughs> i'm here live streaming because um because 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 uh, this is like making a tutorial so we are here yeah ai and design um that's cool uh why didn't this copy correctly uh i want this l and let's go here s y zero let's go back uh, here let's rotate this where is this coming that's crazy let me remove that so um ah okay we're here yeah that's uh that's how it works um well i don't even have to i don't even have to to use ai for reference because the client <laughs> the client sends me the reference and my job is to make it look better or exactly the same as the reference so well that's funny <laughs> i don't even use i don't even need to use ai so i don't because i don't have to yet i know that maybe someday maybe someday i will have to but as long as I don't have to, I won't be using AI. And uh, also because the concept of design is something that is very poorly understood, uh, even by professionals. And it's a lot of fun to talk about jewelry design. People don't know what jewelry design is. It's as simple as that. There's no concept in what you people say you're designing most of the time we are not designing like like right now i'm not designing a jewel it's incorrect to say that and i'm going to explain in the video that this is tasteless soup i'm just drawing shapes and drawing shapes is not designing jewelry and i will make an example because in fact, it's very rare to design jewelry. It's something that rarely happens because the clients really rarely need a design. They don't want anything new and it's not a design, it's just a shape. It's just throwing shape and throwing um, 
Yeah, drawing shapes and drawing gemstones. That's what I'm going to explain in the video. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm drawing shapes and I'm drawing gemstones. Boom, 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 boom. And obviously the jewel is going to look great. It's going to look amazing, but this is not jewelry design. And I know it's very hard to explain. So what I'm going to do in the, well, the video that's coming out this week or next week, as soon as I can finish the production of the video, you're going to understand why I'm saying that, but jewelry design worldwide is almost 5% and only 5% only of what's really done in the jewelry design field. Almost nobody designs jewelry. They throw shapes and they throw gemstones. That's not designing jewelry. You call it like that. That's the word for the, the job. But that's not the correct concept of jewelry design. And today I'm not designing jewelry. Here I'm not designing jewelry. I'm throwing shapes and gemstones. And something pretty is going to come out. That's the worst you can do as a job. And I'll explain it um, in a wider way with more. And I will give an example of a concept of why designing jewelry is something that almost nobody does. Yeah, that's true. But also because the main problem about jewelry design, it, it's that it's senseless it has no reason to be so in those terms it's a decoration process and we're just decorating gold shapes it's just a decoration it makes no sense it's just it looks pretty and that's why our job as jewelry designers and I was training jewelry designers. I was one of the very rare jewelry school to be a jewelry design school and explaining what design is, the concept of design in any type, in fashion, in uh, electronics, in cars, in jewelry, in uh, furniture, furniture design, um, glasses, sunglasses design, everything. People believe that the shape, the shape of the things is the design. That's not true. That's a mistake. Design is the soul of the product. It's not the shape. And the problem is that people don't know how to give a soul to what they're doing. It's not the shape. So to explain that, I will make an example. Today, I'm not making an example. Today, I'm making something pretty. I'm making something very pretty maybe, but this is not a design. It's called jewelry design. I'm a jewelry designer, but I'm not doing a jewelry design. The jewelry design uh, focus and goal, the goal of the jewelry design process is way more complicated than throwing gemstone and throwing shapes and to see what comes out. But basically that's the job of thousands and thousands of people and jewelers Jewelry design, and like you said, nothing new comes out. Because nobody wants anything new. They want always the same graduation ring, always the same Cuban link chain, the same uh, cross, the same skull. Do you know how many designs we have with skulls? Thousands and thousands of thousands. And people want hearts and butterflies and skulls and another skull the same skull with another stone the same skull with another shape etc etc that's the death of the jewelry design of any designer by the way that's not design designing is something that needs to have a reason a shape with a reason and it's so hard to do and there's so few clients for that that almost nobody is designing jewelry Actually, that's why the expression by design, because you made it on purpose for a very specific reason. There's no reason. This is a pretty hard, but there's no reason to this hard here. 
it could be any other shape it would give exactly the same and that's stupid it is like i said in the video what i'm doing now is a stupid shape and a stupid gem uh, gemstone throwing all together like a pie but it's like throwing uh, ingredients in, to make a pie it doesn't work if you don't have a recipe that you know that it's like that for a very specific reason then it's not a design and also it's very complex to explain very complex to understand and very complex to show that to people you need to go maybe buy books you need to to buy jewelry design books go buy uh, let me give an example because this is so you you can start to understand let's go to jewelry design books let's go to jewelry design books <laughs> no not here okay books there's a very good book you should buy books uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. there's a okay it's called a thousand some jewelry design book let's see if i can find it it's called a thousand a thousand design okay it's this one a thousand ring by example go buy this book if you really want to understand the difference and why uh you almost never see a jewelry design and why almost nobody really makes jewelry design and nobody knows almost what jewelry design is go buy this book and look at this book look at the thousand rings and you'll start to understand why you've been fooled your entire life believing that jewelry design is uh let's say cuban class chain well this is what i do every day actually this could be one of my design this one is not but uh this is not your that 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 is bling bling that's gold and gemstones that's stupid but that's what sells people want stupid things that's what sells and that's what i do and that's what they say is jewelry design so obviously i'm not going to make the entire rant today uh let's keep designing <laughs> because technically it's easier it's faster to just throw shapes and throw uh, gold and throw gemstones and call that a jewelry design it's not it's just a gold shape it's just pretty and it's a disaster on a design grade of the reason of the soul of this jewel this is a disaster it is obviously to to a lot of people it's going no oh, but your ring is really pretty keep on doing that obviously i'm going to finish the ring that's why we're here so let's keep doing that but this is not jewelry design and that's not the real job of a jewelry designer this is a jewelry operator at best and it's a disaster okay so here i'm going to do something i'm going to lp okay i'm going to separate this uh shape but i'm going to change the tapper so i need a different tapper curve yeah but the thing is not uh, weapons weapons you know how many weapons are made in jewelry man well it could be cool i know many people are creative many people are uh full of energy full of illusions uh and i don't want to discourage anybody well actually go ahead anybody must do their own project uh and yes design generally helps the goal of design is to help you stand out but the reason is what's your what's your connection to what you're doing because like i said this shape can be any other shape why this shape why not another shape and this this very phrase in explaining what jewelry design is one student in 10,000 would understand the problem of the conceptual design of something 
It's not the shape. It's not there to look pretty. It's not there just to make you stand out. It's not just a different ID because all IDs are the same, honestly. Everybody thinks and say, I'm different, I'm different. We're all the same. We all have the same useless ideas. And uh, that's the bad side. The good side, we are the same. We're all very creative, all of that. But also because jewelry design has nothing to do with commercial and business success at all. Good design never sells. Almost. It's almost a rule. Because people like very simple things for very simple reasons and for very bad reasons. Like, like I said, actually the jewelers, they make... If you knew how fancy and how much money people make with Cuban chains, class, and, and, and links, and how much money I make with these designs, it's stupid. It's brutally stupid. There's there, and they think they're different. That design, look at my design, because, because when you look at the clasp, this clasp is hollow here, and this is round, and the other one has three rows, and the other one is way bigger. Buster Rhymes, if you know the singer, rapper, Buster Rhymes, Buster Rhymes, Jules. He asked for a, a Cuban chain. Look at the size of this, but that's just bigger. It's just stupider. It's crazy. And that's what sells in the US. I don't know elsewhere, but that's this. So that's not jewelry design at all. At all. It's brutally funky. It makes a lot of money. Yes, but design is not about commercial success or selling the thing at all. And that's something people don't want to hear because people want to make, want to hear, how do you make money? How do you sell your design? I want to learn 3D, uh, I want to learn 3D jewelry modeling because I want to make money. Yes, money, 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 money. I say that all the time. Why are you here for? Money, 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 give me the money, Lebowski, give me the money. You see, when you say that like that, okay, yeah, it start to lose sense very fast. I want to make money, money, money. How much money do you make? Like, dude, you can't eat money. And happiness, they always say the same shit. No, uh, if you don't have your money, you, you're not happy. That's not true. And also because when you know somebody, you should, you can't really know how much money they have or not. Some people think I'm a millionaire, some people know I'm a millionaire, and some people don't care if I'm a millionaire. And actually, you shouldn't care at all how much money I make or not. That's not, mm, that's not important for what we are here. And also because what's after that. But well, anything it's too obvious. Money, money, money. I, I'm going to, to, to spend the entire stream Repeat after me. Money, 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 money. We're here for the money. Give me the money. And obviously that's... Uh, how's the movie with Tom Cruise? That's a very famous movie about the guy who says exactly that. But in uh, the NFL, he's, he's a sport manager. Jerry Maguire, huh? Is that Jerry Maguire who says that? Give me the money. The, the agent, the sport dude, um, makes, makes him say... I'm here for the money. I'm here for the money. And if everybody's here for the money, 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 money. Yeah, Jerry Maguire. But the, the concept of, of we are here for the money. Look, go buy the Thousand Rings book. There are many books like that, actually. Look at that book. Start studying what really jewelry design is, why it came to be. And uh, you'll start understanding a bit of what I'm talking about. But jewelry design has nothing to do with selling, has nothing to do with just having one idea, has nothing to do with the external shape of the thing, um, and has nothing to do with making money at all. So, um, 
people don't want to know that people want to know how to make money 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 give me the money and okay that's good but uh, and also that's because uh, people think that uh, jewelry is about making money like if there's nothing more to it than making money like if what we're doing is not an art form it's not here because of feelings because of life experience because of meaning some meaning jewels they have a huge cultural meaning for thousands of years and people they chose to ignore that who knows why well maybe because it's easier um i don't know anymore but um yeah <laughs> it's just and because i know what i'm talking about like i said i created the jewelry school in 2006 i started teaching in 2004 i closed the school in 2020 21 and uh, we made a lot of what what was fun with the students with the good students it is that we did make a lot of jewelry design in any material in any shape form size but it had meaning and obviously the students that were here were there because i had many students there i want to learn how to make money that's why i'm here and uh, well i kept trying to explain them that designing jewelry is more than just making money because also and that's like a business advice uh, almost like a life advice uh, when you have a business uh, your own company and all of that sometimes you will be making money yes but not all the time because like everything in life you will face a crisis there are great um, crisis imagine having a business during the pandemic do you know how many businesses had to close because of the pandemic well that's what you're going to learn every now and then there's a word crisis and it's impossible to make money or your business is going to fail you're not going to make money all the time you're going to suffer if you don't know how to live without that much money then you'll make a lot of money then you won't make that much money then you'll make money again but from time to time your business won't be making money so obviously if you're in the business just to make money and that's like basically 95 percent of the people uh, it gets funny because they create a business it makes some money then they close the business you end up like donald trump basically like being a huge fraud because you you open a business it makes some money then it doesn't make money when it doesn't make money you sell the business or you close the business and start another one there because what you're doing has no meaning so if you're not making money and your only reason to do something is to make money well you won't be there for long at all and last maybe ask actors like many actors before they were famous and some actors are not famous their entire life at all you're famous a moment and then you're not famous and many very famous actors and actresses suddenly they need to go back to a very normal life and a very normal job and they don't make money at all and they're not millionaires anymore they were millionaires for a while and then they're not billion millionaires or billionaires anymore and life is funny so instead of trying to make money 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 because you're going to spend your money and also if you don't have preparation you're going to spend your money unwisely you're going to buy drugs whores uh alcohol and you'll end up worse than you started before making money life is funny <laughs> and you're not going to beat life life is going to beat you anytime because life is 
way more clever and wise than all of us. So the subject actually now let's let's go back to to this design here. But well, I think you got the concept now. And the problem is that it's so obvious in the jewelry uh, field, in the jewelry business, that we are here for the money and only for the money uh, that it gets so stupid, especially when explained to you by somebody who has been a jeweler for 20 years. And yes, some times in my life I made a lot of money. Um, now I'm not going to tell you if I make less or more money and uh, it doesn't matter because actually you're here to learn jewelry modeling in blender <laughs> and if i was a millionaire i would still use blender uh that's not a question that i'm broke so i use blender actually if you use blender because you're broke that's a good way to start but then you should not use blender because Again, because of money uh, problems. I use Blender because Blender is an amazing software. The people around Blender are amazing people. The community, yeah, people using Blender, the people that use Blender and I know them, they're great friends, they're great people. And yes, we, they have that in common, the concept of Blender. Yeah, it's not the same as using Rhino, it's there's something different from the inside the inside is different and because we it represent concept ideas values and uh, yes a software does that blender was created because ton rusendal has other values than other business people and ton rusendal also was a businessman uh, if you've seen, if you've read about him or heard interviews of him and uh, read about him and all, that guy was making a lot of money. He was, he was traveling first class, business class. And um, one day he said, I want to change my life. I, I want to save this software. I want to make it open source so that uh, artists have a tool that they can use freely and uh, for everyone and an idea was born an idea it's a life experience it has meaning there's a reason why he did that because he came from a business background and uh, yeah he did the Jerry Maguire in the software industry and Blender was born because he he said I want to save this software that I created because he was working in a um, animation studio in Holland and uh, the, the studio closed, but they had programmed Blender already and he was very happy with his software. And he said, I want to be able, uh, let me save this software. And they made a crowdfunding and they saved Blender and he made it open source. And that was decades ago, but the concept behind Blender is something else. and. That's why I'm here, because using Blender is another story. It's not if I'm broke or not. And actually, if you make money with Blender, you give money to the Blender Foundation, because that's how it works. You become a, um, yeah, you, you make donations to Blender. And uh, that's the way it works. It's not that I'm broke, I use Blender. That's not how it goes. If, but like I said, it's great for students. It's great to learn. And, uh, but then stay for all the good that it does to you. That's why I'm staying because it's so good, but not just because any software, it's not the same. And because the way that Blender was born was not the same and that changes everything. And that's basically Design. Design is it was born for another reason. So if you design a jewel to make money, 
the soul of the jewel and the reason why it came to life will only be I'm here to make money and that will be the only thing that the jewel will express and that's the death that's the worth that a jewelry designer can do design for money because like I said you won't last long at all because you don't make money all the time that's not how businesses work that's not how the economy works that's not how life works and that's not uh, uh, that's not a nice life project and that's basically failure failure emotional damage that's failure that's all it is so people don't see it like that but <laughs> well if you if you live long enough and you and you you make business long enough you know that being around here just to make money is a huge failure because life life is uh is funnier than that and irony of life is uh is fantastic that's actually what's going to save you it's the irony of life but it's true i probably say that because yes i made money and i know how to make money so if i don't have money uh yeah i will go out there and make money so yes it's true <laughs> okay we have this we have that um, so now the question is okay so here there's a transition that I'm not very happy with oh just yet because I want this to be floral like a flower like a flower okay but up that's the problem okay so i need to change my tapper here needs another point right there because i want this mm, yeah not yet i want this because i want a leaf i want the leaf okay so this even more this even more then so maybe i can remove no you shouldn't i shouldn't okay there yeah that's pretty good all right so let's come back here maybe let's even remove this one no it's the other one okay here now And uh, yeah, but I think that uh, not all design fields are the same. The problem, the the difference with jewelry design is that it's borderline between art and product design and uh, actually that's one of the main issues of def the definition of jewelry and jewelry design is that is it an art form or not and technically it's not considered an art form it's considered a minor art because it's a decorate in the decorative field decorative field and it's badly perceived by the art communion community because it's hardly considered an art form and uh, it's uh, it's it is it's a problem it's not a problem to the general world but it's it's a problem it is it is it is a problem and uh, most people in the jewelry business don't care about that because money 
So the question was, because when you run a jewelry design school, you need to, to the, the students must ask themselves, what, what am I creating? Am I creating a product or am I creating an art uh, form, an art uh, expression? Is there art in what I'm doing and why is... And then you also need to ask again the question, what is art and the entire extension of the problem? Most people say that you can't define art. You shouldn't define art. Every time you try to define art, it's the, it's the end of the art. Art is whatever you say it is. <laughs> and it's not. It's not at all. And it's not because something sells better than something else that it's more art or less art than uh, the next thing so it is a very uh, complex problem and i wouldn't put shoe design furniture design uh interior well maybe it's, but like yeah obviously don't don't say it to an interior designer that what he does is not art but it's not art <laughs> And like I said, most of uh, the jewelry design out there is not art at all. And it's something that you just need to experience differently, but much differently to, to start grasping the problem. And it's not very... Um, Yeah, no, okay, let's go back there. So I need to, LP, okay, let's separate this. This one's going to have the other profile. I know it's the same profile, but, no, wait, same profile. This is the profile, but the tapper is the other one. It's the second one, thanks. So now I'm going to make the head bigger again. Yeah, this is good. I think I don't even need this one. <laughs> Technically, I don't. But... But by example, one of the, the things you should know, I'm very critical about my own creations. And like I was explaining earlier, what I'm doing now, this is not art at all it has no meaning at all this is not art this is not design this is throwing shapes and it's cool and it's nice and we're learning how to make 3d shapes yes but uh, the other issue is very different and it's not uh, a very fun matter uh, drawing shapes is a lot of fun. That is. It is a lot of fun. But creating art is not fun. Writing a meaningful book is not really... You don't do that for fun. You have things to say for a very specific reason. Because you had something happened to you somewhere and there's a reason why you need to write a book or why you need to design a specific jewel there's a need there's and that's something that most people don't like to hear because then if there's a need to it there's an obligation to it and actually ask people who are very dedicated to their art they have they, they feel you know they have that up they feel the obligation it's like if i don't do that it's like dying it's like not living i need to paint i need to make music i need to design jewelry but it's a need it's an obligation so obviously the relation to fun is not the same again and ever again because you become 
obligated and the pressure that stems from that actually can kill you. And some artists can't withstand the pressure of having to create and having to succeed as artists. And the pressure is so, so heavy that if you're not prepared, like I said earlier, the ending is always the same. Drug abuse, death. You die because of the pressure. And no matter what art form you do, but the obligation to create. Ask any musician, ask any painter, ask any good actor. But I mean, really people that are, uh, their life depend on their art and not just for the money. Te uh, what happens is like, if you don't succeed, you, you can't breathe anymore. You can't live anymore. Ask how many artists suicide themselves because they're not prepared to the pressure that's going to happen the day that they understand why they're, why they're here, why we're here. And no, we're not here to make money. I think you understood. I, I said that a million times. I have to say that every time. But I'm going to stop saying that like that. But the pressure, because we have to create. We don't have to make money. We have to create. Ask any painter, ask any musician, ask any person that's really living the life. Not. And yes, you will make money because you are dedicated to the cause. You are dedicated to what you're doing. So the level of dedication, <laughs> there's a huge difference there. And well, it's something that can be explained, can be teached, but we also know that not that much. People understand the difference or they don't. And if you don't, well, you're there to make money and good for you. You'll make money, but you won't be an artist. That's, that's, a, that's for sure. The main difference is that an artist has to make what he is doing. Otherwise, he can't live anymore. And yeah, it's hard. It's hard. And no, it's not cool. And it's not something that people want to talk about, don't want to hear about. Because uh, if, uh, if you actually, because also it's very frustrating for people who don't understand it. It's very frustrating to understand that you won't be an artist because you don't have it in you. It's not something that you can buy by studying in a school. You can't buy becoming an artist. And that's why also many art schools, they're frauds because or acting schools or whatever type of art school are big frauds because you can't. You can't study the technique. Yes, like now we're here for technique, 3D modeling techniques, but you can't pay to become an artist. And the, the education business, because education became a business, which is also a huge problem. Another one. A very classic one also, <laughs> a very bad one also. Um, yeah, this is all connected, but they're, yeah, they're lying to their clients because the job of an art school is not to create artists, it's to make money. <laughs> that's, that's always the same, always the same. Okay, so my tamper, I want this to go further. Yeah, now I want this to be a bit. Ah. I, ah, okay, are we balancing this or not? I mean, be this even further. Can I bring that further? Mm, no, I can't. Okay, so we're pretty good with this. So now, ah, yeah. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, something also uh, that you can start to notice uh, about me is that I am here to talk about the things that people don't want to hear. That's one of the reasons I am here, alive. That was part of, let's say, my job. Because if I don't talk about the things that people don't want to hear, <laughs> people are not talking about that. They don't want to, they don't have to, and they, they didn't come, they don't have the background uh, to talk about it. I'm talking about it because it's something I lived. I was a painter, I was a jewelry designer, I was a teacher, I created a school. So I also had the problem as competing against other art schools. Yes, and I competed very, very well because my school became world famous in its niche market, but the school became world famous. So I'm not talking about, about that because I did not succeed to make money or to create art and make money selling art or that. I come from the success of that. And because I come from the success of that and uh, and also I know that in every people's life, you are going to face one day, you can say the devil, the devil is going to come to you and he's going to make you the question, what do you want in life? Do you want to make a lot of money, but pay the price selling your soul, like always, or do you want to really be happy and find a life behind all that crap of making money, making money. Because yes, there's a life behind all that. And there's happiness behind all that. And really dedicate your, uh, your life and soul to really find what's behind that. Or Because yeah, there, there is. And yeah, someday you'll have to answer that question. So that's, so I know what I answered. And because the answer is always uh, obvious. Uh, I decided to be happy and also because otherwise my my uh, I would be dead or basically otherwise by now so sometimes it's not even a matter of choice <laughs> you have to which is also a problem it's generally not even a matter of choice like I said you have to do it you have to do it because otherwise you can't even look uh, at yourself in the mirror the next morning. All right, so now, okay, that's pretty good. Let's start working on other elements. Let's start working on, let's, can I copy this? Okay, I'm going to copy this again and I'm calling this borders. Okay, and like I said, my streams, they always start so I've been talking about all that uh, much too long, but this time I think I've started explaining more about the problem because it's like the first time that I say in a stream or in a video that what we're doing is not jewelry design. Like I say in the video, you'll see, well, it's, yeah, this is not jewelry design. It's, this is not art. This is just a pretty face. And like, he, like we all know, a pretty face is not enough uh, to give meaning to, to life. All right, so I have this side, control Y. Let's erase all that, so I kept the side. So now the side, I go to object, uh, blah, 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 uh, convert to curve. Now this is a curve. And I'm going to create like a squarish, a squarish, let me... Uh, oh, wait, that's weird. Where's the stream and why? What happened there? Ah, okay. Uh, okay, we're all here. Um, and the camera again, <laughs> that's funny. There, here we are. 
Okay, so let's turn the camera back on. Voilà. Okay, let's turn the camera back on. Okay, so I'm here. I'm here. Hello, welcome to the stream again. Well, I'm here streaming. So this is now, this is a curve now. Okay. And. Uh, Okay, a squarish. I need a squarish profile. Let's readapt this little fellow right here. Okay, let's keep on proceeding. All right, so let's curve uh, busy circle right here in the middle. Uh, let's scale individually, individual scales here. Now let's rotate. Uh, Median point again, 45 degrees. That's how you make a squarish, a rounded square profile. So this is profile, pro, profile two. Okay. Now, um, Okay, so this is going to take uh, this profile number two, right there. <laughs> okay, the scale, reset the scale, then go to edit mode and the mean radius must be adapted. That's all it is. <laughs> that's when the scales are not reset. Okay, that's perfect. This is the side because the ring is going to be uh, hollow, obviously for uh, the weight, so this is the side. So this is great because these shapes are following. I need to adapt now a couple of things to that and that. Uh, let's go at auto smooth. Okay, there's a slight. Okay, I'm going to try to simplify. Um... I don't remember because I okay, um, but I almost never. Uh, uh, smooth no okay. I'm going to do it by hand because I only need half of this border. Delete vertices. Let's uh, toggle the cyclic. Oh no, why does he want to, but I said cyclic, no. This has been type, uh, busy. Okay, uh, do I have, okay. So remove the, I oh, know, wait. <laughs> why, I know. Okay, so I can't do it half, too bad. Let me just see, this is a normal problem, normal, so maybe remeshing, I'm going to remesh this, okay, perfect. Perfect, bad zones are corrected. Okay, so now I want a mirror, mirror of this uh, on the y-axis, okay. Okay, it's starting to be a lot better. So I need this, but I need to adapt this shape. And honestly, I need, uh, I need it. Uh, okay, I'm going to adapt this shape for that. Okay, A. So position here, perfect. So, let's bring that to this side. Okay, almost. So obviously I need it to be further away on the y-axis. Here. Now it means that these shapes need to be wider. Okay, this is great. Uh, nope. 
let's select only the external side and let's come here it needs to touch slightly of the this side of body is great now i need to adapt the other shapes so it starts to fit here and there let's adapt let's see okay maybe here i might come okay this is yeah this is almost perfect now what i'm going to change is that the arrow here i want it uh, i want it longer here okay and now also i think i want this one uh, more on the outside does it let itself be adapted like that oh yes it does okay we have this starting to look great okay here yeah yeah great now i need to adapt this ah, okay i understand what <laughs> there's a part of the shape that was all right, nice cleaning the things so i need to adapt basically the end so let's see what proportional editing on x slightly here okay so here when you want to affect only the outside and not the inside i'm going to hide this and now that it's hidden i can i can work on what's visible without affecting what's hidden and that's great uh, side view here ah okay this shape needs a mirror both ways here great so also removing useless geometry or redundant geometry it's always a good thing so obviously when you hide something it doesn't uh, necessarily disappear you do an alt well it's hidden but actually you can bring back hey okay i want to remove this side and here i need to make a bridge edge loops i don't know it is closed okay perfect okay the boolean is failing at what level ah it's because that no that's weird ah there's a wait <laughs> there's a mess with the order of uh, uh, okay, we mesh, bend, mirror, no boolean for now. Okay, I want X and Y. Okay, great. I love this shape, but it's it needs to be further out. So first, before reassembling, well, redistributing the modifiers, let's uh, get this on top of the the edge i created earlier here great now what do i need i need a boolean i need a boolean so boolean <laughs> it's from the size ref which is the solid one it's this one okay and that makes also the inside of the ring uh, very pretty and also obviously you can see that i'm already working on the fact that this ring is going to be manufactured so it means that the weight must be reduced especially when it's going to be made in gold you better check the weight because that's what the manufacturers ask of 
a working jewelry designer is that the jewel comes out light, as light as possible, which is always also a problem, obviously, but it's part of our job. So let's keep, okay, so yes. Um, let me see here, okay. So here we'll have a gemstone, that's for sure. Now I'm going to keep working on the top side, which is the connection. <laughs> Don't forget to remove the uh, proportional editing. And um, otherwise, very funny things happen. Where's the body mesh? I want my structure there because we are projecting on that. Okay, so are we going to make three steps? Yeah, I guess. Apparently, yes. Maybe not. Okay, let's work with that. No, that's a tilt. I want the size. Okay. Are we subdividing here? Yeah, I think we are. Obviously adapting the tilt, but first you should like um Make the shapes, then you adapt the radius, the tilt, and all of that. Because every time you move an ending vertex, the tilt, the general tilt is going to change. So if you worry too much about adapting the, the tilt every time you're designing a new curve, you're going to be wasting a lot of time. First, get the shape right, where it begins, where it ends and then check the radius check uh check the the tilt so yes there are uh, yeah there are technical considerations when you're working in 3d some some steps are better in a certain order and that's well that's what you can study uh, that that kind of training when because as a teacher obviously I would always tell my students the best process techniques because there there is a certain order for things that are more efficient for many technical reasons and um, that's something you can learn. That's something you can learn and that you should learn. And then obviously it's something that you need to train on your own, practicing all the time. There's no, uh, there's no miracles there. If you don't train your skill by doing it, um, you won't progress. But also, if you don't, um, when you have a teacher, the advantage is that the teacher can focus, can focus your skill to a specific way of doing things. It could be a good thing. It can be a bad thing. I know that most people uh, are self-taught, but uh, it's not... And also having a teacher because I had a master, I had a jewelry master because I was an apprentice. So when you're an apprentice, it's a master. You have a master like the Jedi, basically. Uh, and it is because the Jedi way came from the apprentice way, the old 
medieval ways. That's that's where George Lucas took most of the ideas. So when you're an apprentice, you have a master and you learn the ethics of your master. And I had a master. So I also knew, uh, I know what it is to be a student, to be an apprentice. And I know how good it is and I, I also know how bad it is. But basically, when you're a student, you have to do as the master says. Uh, otherwise, you're not a good Padawan. It's a classic. Uh, you can decide to disobey your master. But the thing is that when your master is explaining you why you're, you're doing something in a specific way, well, when you're a student, when you're an apprentice, when you're a Padawan, most of the time you don't understand uh, why it's done like that and why you should do it like that. You, you always think that you know better. And that's a classic. That's why it's in Star Wars, basically. <laughs> so the story is always the same. Students, they think they know better than the teacher, but... They don't. They very, very rarely do. And the good part of uh, having a master is that for some time you get to do things under the discipline of someone else. So do, you don't call the shots. The master does and you might disagree, but you learn to respect the experience the age also, because obviously your teacher is older than you, or not, the age. Wisdom don't necessarily come with age. I know a lot of older people that have no wisdom at all, because I don't know, wisdom was always a goal in my life. I consider that the older you get, the wiser you get. It's a goal in life. I don't know why people waste their time not having that as a goal in their life. The older you get, the more things you know, the wiser you get. Otherwise, there's no point. I don't understand. I know why it's like that, but I don't understand. Okay, uh, side, 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 side. Now, the question is... All right, I still don't like these, but that's because of this. Okay, this one comes down too fast. It's what it is. I want them to be rounder at the tip. Yeah, it's a bit better. So maybe... Mm. Okay, sharper there, yes. But I still want this to go further. Ah, so maybe, ah, great. So we do need, okay. And we do need that then. So I still need that to be thicker, honestly. So that, no, that's reversed now. No, it can't. So it needs to be shorter. X. Okay. I like it better now. Here we are. Okay, we have this. And I need to complete down here. We need some structure. And then we are going to make their... We're gonna get gemstones on the side. Why this gem uh, mirror? Mirror on Y for this little guy there. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to make this bigger here, yes. Okay, it's pretty nice. Now, 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 now. So. Yeah, and to go back to things that people don't want to hear about, like I said, there are things that can't be 
explained, that can't be taught, that can't be shared. Because uh, I said it earlier, it's something that you have uh, or you don't. And it's very frustrating. It's not friendly. It's not politically correct. Obviously, I'm not. I never cared to be. It's totally useless to be politically correct because it harms people more than it does any good. People should know the honest fact right from the start. You have it or you don't. And your, your uh, teacher has an obligation to tell you that. If you're not good for something... Okay, so the problem then becomes personal because some teachers, they're je jealous. They get jealous from very talented students. They do, but these are bad teachers. So obviously, also try to feel your teacher. If your teacher is a bad teacher, I hear we were talking about that in another video because yes, I said that. There are good teachers, there are bad teachers, there are good students, and there are bad students. To make something work in an education environment, you need a good uh, teacher and a good student. If the teacher is bad, well, the good student is going to notice that the teacher is bad because you feel it. Because how he behaves, because how he talks, because the ethics, because some ideas he's going to defend. And you're going to understand that something is not quite right. And that's when um, education is a business because the, the teacher is going to, to have, uh, well, he's going to defend some students for bad reasons, he's going to uh, make very weird things with the exams and some bad students are going to be favored for bad reasons because the father has money, etc., etc. And that's when education is failing because the teachers are unethical. So obviously, um, if you have a bad teacher and a bad teacher tells you that you are not good at what you do, you should probably understand that the teacher is saying that because he's jealous and unethical. But if you're a good pers person, a bad student, but a good person, and a good teacher who is also a good person is telling you that you don't have what it takes search another path in life then you should know as a good person as a good student that the master is right for the right reasons because a good teacher uh, generally has the gift of foresight it's necessary that the teacher has the gift of foresight the gift of fourth sight. So it means that the teacher can see further ahead because his emotional capacities, because his knowledge, the amount of knowledge he has, and he's capable of feeling people. Obviously, he can be wrong. It has happened. But actually, no, I think I never regretted telling... I used to tell people, you're not good at this. Do something else. So don't become a jeweler, don't become a jewelry designer. You're going to suffer. If you're stubborn doing something you're not good at, you are going to suffer and people around you are going to suffer because you won't be happy and you'll be jealous uh, of people who, has, who have uh, talents and you, you'll think that people that have talent get everything easy and that's wrong also because you'll have like a biased opinion because lack of talent creates a very biased opinion and a very bad one. So, okay, the, the, the outside is pretty interesting, but we have a couple of uh, problems. The problem is, okay, so here, a design, a designer, a jewelry designer's problem. You can see that here, at this level here, <laughs> where, I, where I have the 3D cursor now, uh, it's thinner than what follows and what's before. 
And the problem is that this ring must be thicker here at the top and comes down, but must be the thickness here must be here. So I'm like I'm lacking about one one millimeter of uh, of something, and that's a problem because it means that this and that is too low at that level, and it's ugly. It's really ugly. This hole right there, like a punch in the side that's yeah that's a mistake that's something also i talk you know, uh, I, I talk about from time to time that's a design mistake it's what it is it's a design mistake and this can be corrected and it must be corrected this must come out here yeah so now it's a problem because i need to rearrange a couple of things uh, okay this one the, these these guys okay so because i need more thickness there and this goes on the ring but this must be on top there so now i have to um, take all of that into account and i must solve the shape so they work because obviously that destroy the shape, some of the shapes, like the heart is not... <laughs> you know, the heart is, oh my goodness, horrible here. So let's save this heart, poor heart. Um, and, well, let's see. Okay. So sometimes it's not savable. Sometimes there's a mistake and it's it's uh, well it requires many more adaptations and that's why that's when the designer's work makes a difference the experience of the designer the knowledge of the designer a, a lot of things and uh, okay it's starting to be a bit better but we need okay and uh yeah obviously if you have if you don't have any experience you you won't even consider that it's a mistake you won't understand you won't see it as a mistake like sometimes it can be like the luck of the beginner so yeah it's great but then when it becomes your job and you don't have really concept about these elements and you don't consider them as mistakes uh, you are going to have problems because if it looks bad um, well it's a fact somehow it looks bad <laughs> it, there's something palpable something visible to anyone and that's that's the fun part of um yeah i would almost say emotions like everybody can feel not not everybody but uh, emotions are in the air emotions are in the air so it's something that more people can feel at the same time that's what happened with it's more obvious with music by example it's very obvious uh, and uh, it, in design it happens it also happens so You must at least have, okay, here, let's see if I can, oh, this is interesting. So now the thing is, I want to make this fit. So obviously then any designer can consider something a mistake or not. That's might be a personal 
personal opinion, of course, but like I was explaining earlier, a good designer should not make it just about personal opinions because like I said that's not how it works because we all can feel what I what I can feel you can feel too so if it looks bad uh, there's something to it that not only my opinion is going to uh, tell me this looks bad it looks bad to me but it looks bad to anyone then I also obviously you might not like it or not but there's something that is uh, funny that it can be well made well designed and of course maybe you don't like it but you can't deny a good design it's you can see it you can feel it maybe not but there's something that tells you that ah, that's a good design i don't like it but a professional can very clearly recognize and he must that's something that i always try to do about myself uh i generally don't see uh, the work of, of many other people but when i see the work of uh, somebody i can see if it's well made i might not like it that's my personal taste yeah. but as a professional you must be able to say this is well made that's well designed you must be able to recognize that uh, the goal of a good designer is not to discredit uh, all all the, re the the rest of the world you know that's a well some very talented uh, designers actually have that like godlike uh it's like a um, how do you say that um, syndrome you know like the godlike syndrome uh, very talented designers very generally have the godlike syndrome and it's bad it's bad so you should fight against that when you see something that has been well made it's well made doesn't matter your personal taste or your personal opinion and that's the the strength that's the power of good design it goes beyond personal opinions if something is cleverly designed it's cleverly designed <laughs> there's no there's no personal opinion to it so as a good designer you must learn to re remove your ego and uh, it's part of my job and also because I work with clients uh, when you make design as a service when you customize designs for clients it's the taste of the client that's going to matter so obviously the nice part of having a lot of experience as a designer of course I can advise I can explain and that happens to me almost every week that's what I like about my job and the time I have and experience I have is because I have a concept a very clear concept of what design is or isn't that I can explain and that's great because I can really explain to the client to the person I can explain why a choice is better than another choice and it's rational it's not only a crazy feeling of that I'm the designer, this is better, I'm the artist. No, these are bad designers, bad artists. They don't listen to the commissioner, to the client. The client needs to like his design. It's not like, I, I know more than you, you shut up, and I'm the great designer. These are very bad designers. When you don't have any concept about design, that's what happens you can't explain the client or whoever uh, asks for uh, that specific design you can't explain why this shape or why this size or why this orientation or why this or why that because you're designing without any fundamental knowledge about what design is and why or why not 
and yeah that's why explaining that why you should have and why there is design can be defined art can very well be defined because it's a practice it's a practice that we feel and if we feel it you feel it i feel it then we can clearly rationally talk about it because it's a real experience that we all share so obviously somebody that has year of practice in a field must also have a lot of theoretical knowledge about that specific field and it makes me laugh every time that i meet some designer or artist and quote like let's say like artists in um uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no i don't want update i want the camera <laughs> Going. yeah i know canon en mark ii yeah but don't disconnect this camera disconnects every time where are you obs yeah so restart my friend okay i need to restart the app right there there we go <laughs> hello again okay so i don't know how long I, I will be streaming but almost three hours well i want to finish this design okay so i think you understand the problem uh it's rational it's explainable you can explain what is a design why it's a designer or why not there are fundamental concepts that most people can understand maybe not everybody can understand and it's not about uh, just opinions there are facts that happen that you can uh, uh, that you can witness as uh, at any level and uh, and um, you can talk about them and yes they become concepts and it becomes a steady knowledge about what is and what is not and uh well one like i was saying and explaining because i think that's very interesting uh i can't remember that book here um when you have very clear concepts about your activity as a designer and what uh, elements are visible in the design you can talk about these concepts with the person with the client uh, on a personal level and he can understand and then he can very clearly tell you that's what i want that's not what i want what i want is this for this reason for that reason etc etc and uh, that's also why there are good clients bad clients like i said good teacher bad teacher good students bad students uh from time to time like last week uh, i had a very very stubborn bad client when the client uh, because also uh, on the client side the client is ready to listen so that's a good client but from time to time you get a client who is so stubborn about anything and he swears that he knows better than anybody about anything those clients you don't want them never they're the worst clients and it's sad because uh, well whatever anyway so you finish the job you get the job done you say goodbye to that client you're done don't ever talk to me again and that's it you got paid already and that's why also you always get paid beforehand and not after that's uh basic <laughs> uh, so yes because also you you need to learn how to charge to get paid uh, many people have a lot of problem of uh, get, getting paid yes uh, but by example in 3d i always get paid 
beforehand. And uh, my clients, they know exactly why. There's no... Uh, they know. <laughs> because the first thing they ask is, how much is going to be? Where do I pay you? They know. 3D business, you get paid beforehand. And one of the reasons is very simple. Is that uh, when you're doing uh, something digital, if the client uh, doesn't pay you beforehand, you don't move a finger. That's basic. Because if the client cancels or whatever happens to the client, sometimes he dies. Uh, I never had a client that died, but sometimes they get sick. By example, a, a client suddenly is di diagnosed a cancer and he can't pay anymore. But he won't want to pay you anymore. I mean, because he knows he's going to die, basically. So, Or that the, the therapy is going to be very, very, very expensive. So, uh, but that's then, that's the, well, life happens. So whatever. But the problem is that if, if what the client ordered uh, is canceled, uh, there's not much I can do with that design. Well, maybe I could sell it as an asset. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But the problem is that if it's digital, everything is lost because there's no, the, the value is specific to that client. Uh, example, uh, as a jeweler, it's different because if a, a jewel gets canceled, at least I have the gemstones and I have the gold. It's, it still has value. So, generally, well, some clients would pay the entire jewel beforehand, but uh, then generally not. They pay uh, at least half, but as also that's basic. Uh, but in 3D modeling, it's you get paid or you don't move a finger first because whatever happens you can't really um, get the money back if whatever reason and especially so when it's a bad client but he already paid you you do what the cli the client wants you give no advice you say nothing you charge every modification to the design you don't give any professional advice. You don't give any opinion. You do what the bad client wants. You do it. You already get paid. You do it. The client gets the thing. It's done. You go. Goodbye. But that's, that's, not, that's not nice. That's not the way it goes. I mean, um, because with good clients, you can talk about the design, how to, to make it better, why this, why that. And it's amazing because the client, he has no experience. He doesn't necessarily have experience as a designer, but he's a person with sensibility. So it's great because you can, you can talk about that. And if you have good concept, like an artist, like a designer, you can explain why red, why green, why this color is better than this color, why this size is better, because there are many cultural reasons to art, to design. So that's why you must study design. You must study history. You must study anything. Like I say that all the time and it's true. I'm going to say that every time. A designer studies everything, not just his specific field. And that's also why training designers is so damn hard. It's very hard uh, and in the jewelry field, it's harder because there's so much knowledge and so much history in jewelry design, 80,000 years, 80,000 years of jewelry history. And the more you know about it, so basically, yes, you need to know the entire jewelry history to be a good designer. It's a fact. It's not that, no, I don't want to study jewelry history. I don't like it. Like it or not, dude. You're going to design jewel and you don't know what has been done before you, beforehand. And believe me, so much has been done already. If you see jewels made 8,000 years ago in gold, and gold maybe 6,000 6, to be historically accurate because we know that the oldest the, the oldest 
gold jewels known to, to humanity actually show me ear how do you show you ear <laughs> hi <laughs> my ear here hello <laughs> well so um ah, earrings <laughs> But uh, I'm not here showing jewelry, I'm, I'm here designing a ring. You want to see earrings? I have some earrings there. Why? So, uh, let's go. You want to see earrings? Why not? But I was talking that, yeah, training jewelry designers is very hard because the amount of knowledge that you really need to have. Okay, earrings. I designed quite many earrings there's down here mm, 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 mm. here earrings here <laughs> um earrings here there's i don't know but they're here here okay earrings here there these are where manufactured by the way these ones and these ones there you go i showed you earrings okay let's keep designing my ring oh my goodness so here in blender when you forget that you wanted um, let's say all these diamonds I want the y-axis diamond you need to go to object uh, link and copy modifiers so now I have the mirror on the other side because I forgot to assign the y-axis uh to these diamonds so i needed to copy the modifiers but in blender is really cool because you can copy modifiers uh, very easily in fact so obviously uh, a couple of years ago i didn't know that so i had to select every object that i forgot to uh, when you don't know how to copy modifiers and you think you can't copy modifiers in blender it's very sad because you need to uh <laughs> um there you go you need to 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 assign uh, the modifier to every object uh, one by one again and it's crazy <laughs> because it's very slow but then you learn that you can copy the modifiers very easily and i think in the newer versions of blender it's easier than before i don't know i think no that hasn't changed for years so uh okay here we go we have all right so we have diamonds on the side there on the inside this is quite great so i'm going to create i need the inside border now like this one okay this is great because this is a curve okay so i'm going to copy this i'm going to go to edit mode i'm going to scale it and obviously uh, I'm going to adapt the tilt to something like that. Also the radius a bit smaller. And I need to put that on the inside. So maybe I will have to change. Yeah, I need to change. Oh no, wait. Uh, never forget to remove the snap or very funny things happen. <laughs> like everything is going to snap everywhere. So I was saying I need this. Okay, so the shear that the shear tool okay i need to make this straighter so it's this direction here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this is pretty good and uh, more on the inside because this is actually where the finger is going to uh, To, to be in contact with the gold is it's right there okay um, there okay and here so we are here this is pretty accurate this is pretty good okay we have this this and that the only problem now is that the diamonds uh, they need to come out a bit more on the y-axis because otherwise they will be um, yeah they, they won't fit in fact 
All right, so now the diamonds are pretty good. Obviously, I need prongs for the diamonds, and I need a second border. So I'm going to copy this one again. So it's the advantage of ha of having a a curve element uh, there, and this one needs to go under the diamonds. It's the second border for the, the row of diamonds, for the line of diamonds. Right, this is pretty good, but the problem is that it's uh, it can't go uh, on the inside because there the finger is not... Uh, yeah, it's not fitting anymore. So this is a problem because I need, I need this border because it's really pretty but i need to end it i need to end uh, how can i end this i'm going to end it here i guess but now i need to find why this uh ah okay i know i'm going to raise the segment perfect so now that i found how to erase the segment because i remember just right now how to erase the segment um, okay, have this. Now on this one, I'm going to add the mirror on X and Y. Uh, control all elements on transform. And uh, oh wait, no, this is bad. Okay, this is correct. Uh, why is this element disappearing? Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know because wait I want to make a mirror of this without ah okay I know the remesh thank you all right the remesh uh, okay fill caps right there okay and I need the mirror X and Y X and Y right there great now I can finish uh, I make the, I mean, I can make this ending on this side. I can extrude there and I can close very cleanly this element. So the thing I want to see first is that, um, Yeah, I want to get there and uh, wait, I need to change something in the the twisting. Uh, Z up, nope. Tangent, uh, tangent, nope. So uh, minimum, yes, but there's something about the radius. Yes, bound, no, stretch, stretch, no. There's an option somewhere. I mm, know, uh, but I have too many vertices for that. Okay, sorry. So I need to be very careful bet with the distances between. Yeah, okay. Because I want this to be clean. Like follow, I want it to follow the, the border. So it means that the distance to the border uh, must be even there. So see here, it's not cleaned yet but otherwise this is pretty good so that's the second border because here I need yeah, I need a surface yeah I need a surface so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a the surface right there so front view Add mesh plane uh, la, 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 la. okay gold so I'm going to project that shrink wrap exactly like I did earlier but maybe if you're joining the stream right now which is great um, I'm going to show the process anyway so let's shrink wrap 
to the body here. Here is yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh, maybe. Ah, nice. <laughs> okay, great. So we're lucky because the software almost froze the entire computer. <laughs> Which can happen. It happens sometimes. Alright, so I want this to be front view. Thank you. So a hey, merge at center. We're going to follow this. So I'm going to make a, a solid ground for the diamonds to set the prongs obviously for the row of diamonds here on the outside and we're going to decorate it yes so i need i need this um to here basically well we'll see obviously then we'll adjust the distances okay so now i need to extrude this there Okay, here, zero on X. Now I'm going to readapt this uh, here. And uh, this should be pretty good. Let, no, it's not. <laughs> because, okay, obviously. Uh, this is closest, but, okay, so here I'm going to do different. I'm going to project instead of nearest. It's a bit better. Okay, because I want that. So, also, if you want a good projection, you need to have a higher resolution. Because here, I don't have subdivisions in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, now I need mirror on X and Y there this is not that zero when it's not that zero the mirror won't merge properly you you'll see that but not always so beware of the mirror modifier okay great here now I need a solidify uh, let's go at zero offset thickness one Check that your scale. So for the diamonds, for the well, 0.85, so I don't have that much weight added for no good reason. Okay, are we? Yeah, we are. We are. But are we? Okay, so here yeah, is pretty nice. And now I just need a bevel and uh, I need a subdivision surface. Level three and shade smooth. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair. Well, repair. I'm going to adapt. I don't want this to come out of that border. I want it to sustain, but not come out. Okay, so I need to work on these vertices. Okay, so I'm going to follow the secondary edge. I'm going to follow the inside of that. I want it to make contact with that edge, but I don't want it to stick out. Okay, this is pretty good. Now here I need a remesh. Make it clean or oh, four smooth. Okay, here this is not necessary. In fact, I need to remove this. It destroys the the line. I don't know why. Okay, this is clean now. This is great. Now this I can come lower to close the gap right there. This is great. So, and, on, and also now what I need to do is that the outside here, 
must be as close as possible to the upper edge of the body of the ring. Okay, so we're having this. The top view is great. Front view is great. Side view is great. We're not done yet. I want to finish this. So let's hide this and let's observe what we just did now on the inside. So we can see that it's closing. Yeah, perfectly. Okay, what I'm going to do now, just a middle check. Face orientation, everything is blue, that's great. Otherwise, it comes out as red. And, uh, um, well, you need to flip the normals. Okay, we have this. So now I need prongs. Yes, I need prongs. Okay, and also something that I would like to... Okay, here there's a small detail. Uh, is it closed? Apparently, this is not on X. Yes, X is zero. Zero. I don't know, it is, that's where. I don't wait at H. There is apparently a face. If the ending element has a face, and this one doesn't. Uh, okay, we're good. Right, just checking. Okay, now we need prongs, and I want to make some more decorations. Hey, <laughs> good night to you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for following. Take care. And good night. All right, so, 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 so. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just, think, okay. So, for the elements that I don't need to think about, add mesh sphere, this is going to be the prong. Uh, dimensions 0.7 this is great edit mode okay need to rotate this edit mode let's take the middle of this let's take this here let's change the gravity here and we're good okay this is going to be <laughs> gold great smooth yeah and this is prong 0 0.001 so now let's go uh, with the snap and let's copy this and let's start snapping okay that's oh no <laughs> bad too bad sorry just a step back right there when I move this beware you need the x-rays just because I didn't have the x-rays didn't went cleanly all right so I need to redo that gold and shade smooth and prong zero zero one thank you because I had to undo so now let's go so here, I'm going to check that on the inside, yeah. but I need a bigger prong because I'm going to make shared prongs. So yeah, they're going to be too big. So I'm going to erase this. That's why I always, always keep the original prong untouched right there. And let's go. So we're going to make the side like this, this is great, all right. Now, I need the mirror based on the pearl, mirror X and Y here. Okay, there, uh, maybe not that big, but okay. So these are shared prongs and that's why I made, don't forget to check on the inside 
and we can start making the row the line of prongs okay so here i can make it yeah perfect on the inside that's why i made a floor a solid floor for the prongs because uh, that obviously work for setting the prongs otherwise the ring would be too fragile and it wouldn't be a good idea we need <laughs> we need some ground to make it solid and obviously then i'm going to cut the place of uh, the placement of the gemstones that that's what comes right next next step okay here a little prong okay and this is starting to look great so we need a couple of uh, things we need a gallery we need the part i think i might work i want to happen again why this guy is always losing the mirror i don't get it Ah, but it's because it's losing this. I don't know. There's like a weird bug for that. Um, okay, here I need another. I don't know, sorry. Well, whatever. <laughs> don't forget to remove the snap, my friends. Okay, we have this. On the Z and X, -ax X axis right there. That's cute. Okay, now the, these guys. Opa. Who is it? Oh, that's not easy to select there. I think it's these. Bingo. Okay. Here. Okay, so if you're joining the stream right now, let me turn the camera back. I don't know, wait, is it just the software? Can I, can I? Can I just turn this on? Yes, I can. Great. Hello. So, back here. So, if you're joining the stream right now, making a ring in Blender 3.6, that's the actual state of the design. It's pretty advanced now already, but we're going to finish this so I've been streaming for like uh, what three hours four hours three and a half hours who cares let's keep streaming <laughs> add mesh plane zero on one okay let's go to edit mode M at the center so here I'm going to create the spot for uh, the edge of the diamonds so it needs to overlap slightly the diamond and uh, for the pearl yeah let's go like this right there now here let's go to zero here so we're going to complete this uh, now. And I need a small indent right there. Okay, great. Great, great, great. So we have this. Now there I don't need much more. So I can come back here so we don't add useless weight. And here I need the plate or whatever you call it. <laughs> Put a pearl. 
In English, I don't know the name actually. Okay, we have this, and now let's have a look at A. We're going to make a spin right there. So obviously the center is zero, zero, zero. Let's go at 360 degrees, 85. No, oof, no. <laughs> Whoa, wow. <laughs> I put 800. I can't do it. Let's see if the computer doesn't freeze. I did it. 85. Amazing. Blender withstand without crashing 850 spin divisions. I'm lucky it didn't crash the entire computer, by the way. <laughs> it's pretty good to know my computer still is very good at holding. All right, so what I'm going to change now is going to be hard to change. What I'm going to change is that uh, all this uh, went too far. I need this. Okay, I need this to come. Come uh, way faster. Okay, here I do need the, the thickness for the pearl and for casting and for uh, yeah for printing for casting for all that you know, dear jewelers. Okay, hey, let's make the spin again. Spin them up. So center zero zero zero. 360 degrees, 85. That's pretty good. But this means that we are too high again. So now we're going to do it differently. The center of the pearl can't move. Can be different. So I'm going to hide. I'm going to hide this. But I'm going to. Okay, now wait. Okay, so that can't change, but I need this circle. Okay, I need these circles, I think. All that can change. Yeah, this can't change. Now, what I want is that this division, this needs to be smaller. like like this then i'm going to readapt a bit the outside uh, so the funky part okay what i need is a division uh here and i want this to be smaller yeah but not that high come again let's go maybe Okay, I'm going to take this row. No, I can't. It's better to divide. All right. So I want the decoration here as low as possible. I'm going to grab on the z-axis. Okay, that's what I wanted. Double border because it's more uh, delicate, classier. Now you want a bevel and you want a subdivision surface to make it very, very smooth. Now object, uh, shade, uh, smooth. Well, let's shade auto smooth basically. Okay, then we need prongs, the diamonds. I need to lower the diamonds inside this uh, border. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. So what I'm going to change here and there is that yeah, I need to readapt a couple of things. Let's test. I'm going to test an idea. The idea is that can come over this. Okay, that's a lot of movement, but this can work. This can work. Maybe not everywhere. But I'm going to change the orientation of these edges. Yeah, okay, so uh, yeah, I think it works. It works pretty good. But obviously I need to... Okay, so I think that's going to work pretty well. 
I can't come out that border. All right. Okay, that's that's too far. But I can change your. I'm going to change. I'm going to adapt all of that okay that's great and uh, okay we have this all right so so that's more a question of details now because I can there's many things I can do to make all of that fit together like this is an example okay so you know exactly where it's going and this works great so now the diamonds they need to be lowered inside their position it's, it's like here okay that's great now I can make the prongs part of that same. Okay, so that's why I keep the original prong right there. Let's come up here. Let's make the basic first. It's like the setting. Let's make the settings for the... For the... Hey, hello. <laughs> One of my cats came. Hey, hello. <laughs> All right. So the prongs. I'm going to multiply the prongs. Around the same array than the stones. So that's not much of a problem. The height of the the height of the okay here I need a mirror on Y based on the pearl right there. And now I need to multiply this. I need an array. So I already have an array. I need half of this 18. Okay, so the angle for the new array is going to be 45. That's array number two, in fact, here. So now array right there eight times around the object number two empty empty you can search that's very practical in render okay we need control a all transforms and here we are very nice okay now we need to cut you need the cutters so let's take the stones let's make them mesh let's call them cutters for diamonds let's go to edit mode front view all right, so we need all the tips of the stones. So I'm going to select all the tips there, if I can. All right, now I'm going to extrude that on the Z axis. I'm going to scale it there uh, okay here I can change the orientation uh, where I want so this is a very practical trick there yeah so now we do a remesh at point oh seven I think uh, we're going to make a solidify right here uh, solidify 0.02, 0.04 uh, at one. Okay, that's great. Even thickness. Now I can take this. Okay, the remesh 
can be at point one. That's great. Even even more point twelve. All right. Uh, okay, so this plate is going to be uh, boolean the this <laughs> the cutters H. So now that's very important because the placement of the gemstones must be cut out. Obviously, that's why you know that if you're a jeweler, it's basic. Okay, so now I have a couple of uh, things to consider. I don't like, for now, I don't like this coming out like that. Um, well, I, it looks good. Well, I, well, I, I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to change it or not because for ergonomy, it's not the best. Let's be honest. Like I said earlier, I'm very critical of my own designs, the creations, art, and all I do. So it's not that I'm going to leave it like that. But sometimes I just like it to be different. So it might as well. Okay, what I'm going to change the little heart there. The tip, where is it? There, this shape. Okay, it's going to close right there. That's great. I'm going to change the angle slightly of the tilt. Do, do, do. More like this. Yes. There. Yes, but now it's too big, so it means that I can change this slightly. Now it's too. <laughs> ah, that's why it was higher. Okay, I understand. So it means this must be more like that. So uh, very small details there, but uh, I'm not completely done with uh, all of that. All right. So for the top, it's pretty big, uh, pretty done. But I need to readapt all the all the side. So let's do that. And let's start. Okay, here I'm very far away. Very far. Well, very far. <laughs> Not that far. It's just that talking about uh, jewelry. One millimeter in jewelry, it's huge, you know? <laughs> it's a huge, huge, huge distance. Okay, but here. I can do something very nice because these shapes are going to follow the row of the diamonds, obviously. So now it means that this can come inside. Yeah, so I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And instead of floating in the air, like you just don't care, this is going to be inside. Okay, and I need to readapt the angles. So that's pretty nice. And uh, okay, that's pretty nice. And just checking the details right there. Okay, this is great. This is great, great, great. But this is still a bit too big. I need 55 for the radius. Okay, we have this one. Now let's proceed the same with everybody else here. Well, maybe not everybody else. That's exactly the question. Because the nice development of these curves in space is pretty great. So we're going to work on this. So it doesn't come out of the edge in an ugly way. 
<laughs> okay, so we're going to take advantage of, of the, who is going to be on top and who is not going to be on top. So this should definitely be on top, but this is new because now this can come a lot further and uh, higher and lower so we can adapt yeah i think this is pretty good but obviously okay so adapting 0.7 not so oh it was better here now was it yeah this is what i'm talking about okay so front view no side view <laughs> side view please side side view side view yes so this and we're going to move the little sphere but also we can check the tilt and we can check the size so this is pretty good no side view come on side view all right so we're working here yeah now we need to take into account i want to keep contact between the the endings or the the pipes the tips and uh yeah that's pretty nice but I have this detail that oh, this must be lower and on the inside. So if I adapt the tilt, I can follow exactly the edge and that's exactly what I want here. Okay, now, um, yeah, this position is not solved yet. Yeah, I guess the tilt should be different. And the radius, it's still too big. Okay. Almost, almost there with that. So generally I start working with uh, the boring stuff. <laughs> well now, because I have some things that are a bit more interesting to do than this but i i do it first because once it's done i don't have to worry about it that much anymore so and here we're going to adapt the position of this little sphere right there so it's starting to be really interesting and always check front view front view is working great the shape the harmony of the shape from this front view side view so here here there is a problem with this and i want it i want it in design so i need to find something i think i have an idea mm. well let's Let's try something very simple first. Let's just take the entire edge and move it on the inside. Oh, this could work. <laughs> this could work. This could work. No, it can't work. But why? Who is to blame? Well, in fact, wait, yeah, that's a good question. Who's to blame? Oh wait, I think this is to blame. Yeah, let's see if bringing the inside more on the inside. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's pretty nice, but we still have the problem of the shot. Well, it's not that sharp. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know because I really like that triple spike shape down there. <laughs> too bad so sometimes it's just about finding the right person to be the client you know if they like the design they don't care much about the ergonomy when it's a designer ring 
like this like this kind honestly um, but okay let's try again because the ID wasn't Ah, okay so maybe just the outside let's try to move this i'm going to exaggerate first to see if it keeps a nice shape yeah. well we'll we're we're not solving this right now so what i need i need cutters for these gemstones so copy this without moving yes mesh cutters sides let's go to edit mode wait uh, this must be joined okay so now we have these these are the cutters for the side let's go to edit mode i need i need all the oh that's pretty nice well i need all the tips now that's funny okay so I'm, I need to select the endings I don't know why, why they're deselected it's funny all right so if you're joining the stream welcome uh, this is a pretty long stream I feel inspired very nice stream thanks for people for commenting many comments I don't read I don't have time <laughs> then I look on. okay what do you have here okay we have this 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 dot 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 all the tips right there and same there are we yeah, okay so this i'm going to extrude scale here and there like i said we can watch on the inside uh, ah it's not too bad just So here taking care of the placement. That's that's good. Okay, that's good. Now we need as earlier solidify 1.04. Then we need to remesh 0.12. I don't know, let's go to 0.07 for these. H. Now let's take the ground there. Needs the Boolean. Right here. And it's the cutters side. Cutters. Cutters sides. Okay. You can see that the cut is uh, great and uh, that's that's it for that that's pretty nice so something also i want in fact i want uh tourmalines as gemstones so i'm going to bring in the material from my asset uh for people who don't know you can find my asset on blender market and uh let's see blender market let's go to blender market because that's a good way people like to buy my assets to support my my channel so and actually i don't make that much self-promotion i should do more honestly people have told me so let's go let's go gemstones there are more but gemstones okay so most are mine and the very nice one is the cold gemstone asset uh and i'm going to use this asset because i want the tourmaline road the pink tourmaline okay so you can go to blender market and people uh really enjoy 
supporting my channel, buying my assets. Most are for jewelry design, but you can use them uh, for many other things, honestly. Okay. And where are we now? Okay. Okay, so I'm here and I'm going to import the material. So you have all the gemstones here and I want... I know I'm going to use the pink topaz which is a close sister to the tourmaline. Okay, and we're going to assign the material right there, pink topaz, and let's put a viewport display color as pinkish red, uh, like this. All right, so these are going to be not diamonds because it's uh, fancier for... Okay, so what I'm going to do <laughs> yeah, I do have an idea. Oh, yeah, I do have an idea. <laughs> okay, so because the problem is the side, let me copy this. Okay, let's not move it. Let's come. We're going to. Ah, this is a curve. Okay, perfect. I can shear the curve. We're going to shear this and I'm going to test. So obviously the problem is I don't want this to hide. Or could I? Oh, 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 yes. I have a big crazy ID, but it's and, and, and it's going to work. So let's go with that big crazy idea. So we are here. We need to stop this. Here can stop here. Vertices. Now let's erase this segment. Delete segment. Okay. And what I'm going to do is that. Uh, what happened to? <laughs> I don't remember earlier. It happened already. But what I need the remesh. There's a remesh modifier that I don't need. I don't need a remesh modifier. So we're going to come here and we're going to make a double border, sir. So let's remesh here now. Uh, I need to fill the caps, I guess. Fill the caps, yeah. Okay, so let's go to 104, smooth, 1.05. So, perfect. It's a bit too thick and I can make it less thick because this is a curve with a radius here we go so the question is okay that's a bit better and i'm going to add yeah i'm going to add diamonds right there and um yeah yeah, yeah, I'm going to add diamonds right there. So now the thing is, let's decide how. But before I'm going to check if the placement can be a bit yeah, exactly at the edge right there. Okay, so we have space. So I'm going to add gemstones. I'm going to add gemstones. The question is, or I'm, yeah, 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 I'm going to add, I'm going to add gemstones, it's super obvious. So let's take one of the diamonds. Uh, let's remove the angle on this friend, uh, zero on X. And we're going to add gemstones. So we're going to build uh, some supports, but much lighter. So it's going to be with wires. Hey, I got an idea. <laughs> I got a wonderful idea. <laughs> this is exactly, this is an extension to the design and it's going to work pretty well. It's not working right now because I need to add. I could make these a bit smaller, honestly. Let's go at 1.5. These are going to be diamonds. 
1.5 millimeter diamonds it's already pretty small but on such a ring it's not bad at all uh, let's test uh, this can be great no but I do want I do want the angle so that's 45 yeah I can use this edge Yeah, yeah, we're going to use this set. It's, um, oh, or double. Oh, okay, the question is, this could be double, double, double-sided. Does it fit? Yeah, we're, we're going to make it fit. So it means that this can be double-sided. So most of the clients, they want more gemstones. There's something that's something you need to know. So, so I'm going to build. Okay, I'm going to build a structure. Give me a second. So the camera. Camera. Boom, boom. Okay. Where uh, are we back? Yeah, we're back. All right. So. Great. So edit mode, we're going to make a structure right here. To follow the diamonds. I'm going to make it like this because I already have borders so I can very well make this the shape I want so basically hollow like this okay here now I'm going to start working mesh wise so I'm going to extrude then I will adapt on the side I will adapt the position on the side first let's work here and uh, let's see yeah ah and I can do yeah i have an idea i don't need to make the entire i was going to go down there completely but it's not necessary and that's great so it means i'm just going to follow here all right let's follow so this comes here yeah this is pretty good so there okay here now I'm going to yeah I'm going to close here but I'm going to extrude and make it smaller I'm going to end end this in a round fashion here and I'll add decorations don't worry it's obvious obviously I'm going to add decorations so bevel 
add uh, do, 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 subdivision surface level three here we are so now uh, well I need a mirror first mirror mirror mirror, mirror. Control A will transform X Y Y there. So uh, okay, I'm going to dump slightly in here. All right, so here normals to the outside there. Okay, we have that. That's a little bridge for more diamonds <laughs> because of course we want more diamonds. So let's turn on the snap. Uh, why isn't that snapping properly? <laughs> why, 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 why? I don't know because, okay. So see here we have a problem for the snap. That's because of the center. Let me show you. You see the orange dot right there. That's the height of the. Okay, so actually let's go set object uh, to geometry, and I'm going to readapt the center there. So now the snap is going to work. So I can. So first. The first one is good at zero, and we don't need a mirror on this one. And I'm going to alternate. Oh yes, I'm going to alternate. So this, this has all the good elements. Okay, there. I will add a decorative border at the end. Um, you know, because now it's not uh, closing properly. But this is great. We can alternate the diamonds. And this is the last one here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is better. So now the side, yeah, this is great now. That's all the side view. So you have front view, side view, top view. All the views are starting to be very, very attractive. Okay, so now we need, we need prongs here. So this is a 0.7. I'm going to make it slightly smaller, point, what point six, all right. Now let's check that, okay. And this guy needs a mirror, X, Y. From the center pearl, right there, okay. And we're going to start distributing. Okay, this one doesn't need mirror. And here it's going to happen the same. This is a totally shared prong at zero and doesn't need an X mirror. Now I'm going to rotate or not, not even. So don't forget that I have the snap turned on. So sometimes the snap is not your friend, <laughs> but otherwise, I don't wait. Okay, so here I should be able, yeah. This one is always going to be on on the edge. So here I, I need to turn off the snap, but this is working perfectly because it's going to be a pentagonal distribution. And uh,
and all the, the stones will be perfectly set and all the prongs will fit perfectly so okay great this one gets the mirror and we're good to go we're good to go here we can already see exactly where each prong is going to go I'm going to add some decorative prongs at the end and some uh, motives I was going to put stones all the way down but haha it's not necessary in fact it would not it would yeah it would hide too much well I still could <laughs> I, I could yeah this is amazing well, I think I am okay so because yeah am I I don't know it's hard to tell yeah I think the stones so before I proceed um, let's come back here because in fact it's, it's really easy to do so let's go with the first idea was is let's make the entire arch the entire arch or almost and also because it's funnier <laughs> it's more well funnier no it's more fun to do and uh, yeah there there I will make a connecting um, element so now I need so this is going to look bad at first because we're very far away from the the axis so obviously well maybe I should start from this one uh, these okay <laughs> oh no <laughs> the computer wants to freeze from time to time uh, sometimes it does but whatever okay top view I don't know this one is good already ah, but it, it's easy to select so this is great because it's easy to select we need to be there so let's take the entire block here then we'll readapt okay it's starting to be good <laughs> don't forget any vertex it wouldn't work it wouldn't work well <laughs> it would destroy the entire mesh okay so yeah this is this is much better much better ah, okay let me close well just let me see uh, side view okay there's this is too far all right let's uh, go uh, here are we good yeah so the ending the ending i'm just going to close like this here this time mm, nothing because i'm going to huh let's adapt okay so this hasn't 
this needs uh, needs to be adapted. It moved way too much. I don't know it's pretty good. But what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use one of these and create a new one. And we're going to go this way. There. Okay, and we're going to adapt that to make the perfect ending. There. Okay. So. Okay, I want that to follow that, but hide that. So it means that we need to be more like this, way more like this. I want this exactly on the edge. Because I don't want to hide um, the other shape. I just want to hide this sharp ending. No, it's not that one. It's this one, that one. Okay, where are we now? Okay, this needs to be there. Uh, it's starting to work. Not completely yet. Well, maybe I don't know if how, but it should be okay. Okay, something more like that. This pretty nice there, and I need another one. I need another one. Okay. So we have this. We have this. But is this any good? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So it means that this can be here. So it fits, uh, it needs to fit exactly there. Come on. Okay, so the connection is not complete yet. Because I need another of these to follow. Oh, and we're going to go to the outside there. <laughs> now I need to find, okay, it's this one. And, um, hmm. we have this. Okay. All right, I, I only have two vertices, but I might need a subdivision. Uh, where are you subdivision? Here you are. Okay, it's starting to be pretty good, but it's not working just yet. Which one is this one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, I need this to be on the outside. Uh, 
All right. Now I need to find <laughs> a way to make this a nice curve. Okay, it's because this is way too long. And uh, this is way too wrong. Okay, more or less. <laughs> but <laughs> okay, almost, but not exactly the shape yet. Because it must work. Okay, so here it doesn't work yet. Because this angle is not good. And this one. Almost there, connecting all the elements. Top, front, side. Come on. Okay, let's say we're good. But we need to find a proper tilt, which is going to be like this, more or less. Yeah. And let's adapt. Okay, this is too short, so that breaks. When the handles are too short on a curve, it breaks the curve. Okay, that's pretty nice for a connection. Now we have a couple of details, 0 0.65, 0 0.6, this can be smaller because there's already enough thickness there. Okay, this is this is nice. What we could use is a third one. Very simple third one. All right. And um Yes, a very small one. Let me try to add that. Yeah, right there. Okay, here, just find the right orientation, please. Where's the orientation? Okay, let's take this out, because we can't see anything. Okay, the orientation is this. Now it comes here, and, uh, but I want to connect it here, and give a better curve. Almost, 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 almost there. So here on the inside, don't forget to work on your, on the inside of the jewels. And uh, that's where the real magic really happens on the inside. Because you can connect elements from multiple angles and okay so that's much on the inside but I need to adapt the tilt that's basically that okay let me see if uh, I can retake a nicer tilt okay there here it comes so we have this but this is true okay and now this must go on x so it doesn't always work oh yeah but here <laughs> it works so it means this connects i want this to end right there with right there with the other curve that comes from the left from the other angle here and I want this one to to end right there okay and when you look on the inside it reaches this angle there of the inside element and that's great and it's an outside element that comes on the inside and connects with the inside element so this connection is now very attractive it's really simple, but it's not that simple to make it work in 3D and in 
a manufacturable jewel. All right. So now, let me see. Hello. From time to time, I say hello to the camera. <laughs> and it's funny because because the camera crashed and I had to reinitialize the camera. You can see a small white, you can see the small white autofocus, uh, <laughs> autofocus square on the camera screen, in fact. There's a setting to remove it, but I can't, I can't remove it now because I can't stand up and things. Okay, this one needs a mirror on the y-axis to the pearl right there. So now what I need, to, let's do the, the distribution of the diamonds. So it's fairly easy, I think. Just turn on the snap and what happened there? Ah, <laughs> it's because we're on the other side. Okay, thank you. So, so I was going to abort the idea of going that far with the diamonds, but this is going to be, yeah, it's going to be spectacular. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like, like I said earlier, I'm, my worst critic is me and uh, some people don't understand that humor and say, you should be on ball and that. I am, I am, don't worry. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. I'm doing the, I've been doing this for way too long and I, I've been teaching this for, much much longer and it's always with a self uh, humor that I'm saying that okay what a nice setting of diamonds you top view side view front view and we have diamonds on the inside this design is really yeah, it's coming out really, really interesting. So now uh, we have the, the prongs. So the prongs is the same. We just, we're going to complete. We're going to complete the ranges, the sides of prongs, the river there. And it's, yeah, 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 this is great. So now here at the end, I can, I can place uh, decorative prongs at the end there, no problem. And here I need to follow the edge. Let's follow the edge right there. And uh, so obviously that's a lot of prongs because we have shared, well, and there are shared prongs, so there are not that many, but I made a pyramidal shape for distributing these diamonds. I was not planning to do that, but the side was not working. The side view was not working. Uh, it was missing something to to connect the side spares shapes to the rest of the ring because there were they were protruding like that in a very ugly manner to the in, in uh, to the outside of the, of the body of the ring and now we have range of diamonds and there are getting a very proper placement uh, okay and that's solved actually that solved the entire design so here we are our finishing 
I'm going to finish this design. And then we need a gallery. Uh, so me, I don't know if I, because I'm pretty tired. I've been streaming for, uh, what, four hours, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm getting a bit tired. But, um... It's just this one, perfect. Yeah, because the ring needs a, a small gallery. It's hollow and all of that. The gallery is not very big, but it's uh, necessary here to... Uh... Yeah, I think it's pretty okay. I can... Because I really like finishing the designs during the streams. Okay, just a couple of prongs right there. So that these ones are a bit more tedious because they're exactly on the side. And the snap don't necessarily work for these. So it's a bit harder. I've seen worse, but okay, this one needs to be higher. I could almost work without the snap. I think I'm going to do the rest without the snap. Well, it's just like, I don't know, three. Or or some now even less yeah it's easier without the snap it's only one left for this side <laughs> well for this range but this range is amazing because the the it's pyramidal so we have twice the amount of uh, diamonds that w I was going to put and it's much more interesting so um, just a detail uh, under the pearl here I need pearls always need a small Thing. you're going to understand if you're a jeweler you already know what I'm going to add right now for the pearl there's a function here in blender does that perfectly we're going to screw this screw don't take it badly okay so the distance there and this is perfect this is for the pearl uh, Let's make uh, more resolution with 5050. Auto smooth. Let's make it mesh and let's close it. Okay, and the pearl. Let's find the pearl. Well, obviously I can uh, make the boolean, but it's totally there. That's something that would be totally useless, honestly. So I'm not. Okay, 
شهرم بکنم اومد اومد Alright, so perfect. So every detail, okay, now I need, okay, so talking about all the, the details. So I'm just, just joining the stream right now. My name is Damien. I've been a jewelry designer, a jeweler for 20 years, jewelry designers for 20 years, jewelry teacher for 17 years, and we're here on Blender 3.6, designing. A ring and almost all my design get my factory if you have the doubt this is for 3d printing gold casting gemstone setting real life scale real life situation it's my job it's my everyday job 3d jewelry modeler 3d modeler basically I used to be a jewelry teacher for 17 years and a jeweler I don't make I don't manufacture myself jewels much anymore but I manufacture easy more than uh, 8,000 jewels over the year, maybe 10,000. I lost count years ago. Cutters, sides, sides, two. Okay, here. So these are the cutters uh, for position of the stones. We can solidify this at 0.02. So now I, I design for jewelers the, uh, in Los Angeles, by example, they manufacture much of my designs and private clients. Okay, here we are. We need the remesh at 0.25. Okay, now we're going to take, um, yeah, this. And this is going to get the boolean, boolean there from the cutters side side two. Okay, and if we look at the result, okay, when the result here the boolean is clearly failing, so what we need is a remesh just before the boolean, obviously not after, and Smooth and the resolution 0.05, 104. Depends what you need. Obviously, remeshing creates a lot of geometry, but for uh, jewelry making, this is not an issue. We can decimate the model later. But anyway, we want, in general, we want really high resolution meshes for resin printing because resin printing allows very, very, very small details. So we need uh it's better to have a, a nice high re uh, high resolution okay so we have all the cuts for all the gemstones this is great and uh, okay so what we need now is the gallery i was talking about a gallery it's a small one because it goes only half okay and what we're going to do already also Uh, there's not much space for the brand engraving, but I am going to make the brand engraving. Uh, okay, so what I might do... Wait. I'm going to add space for the brand engraving. I'm going to come here. Yes, that's better. It's a lot, lot better. I could add diamonds. Honestly, I could add diamonds to the body, but I'm not going to do that now because that's much already. Okay, so. So what I need is so my brand is Rorba. I'm in Mexico, so obviously some people know my name in um, in the US because I have many clients in the US. But you won't find my brand like like that because I I really work as a designer for many people. So it doesn't come out with my name, but my brand exists, but just 
I don't manufacture anymore. <laughs> it's just like for my marketing, the brand is very important anyway. I, my brand, I create the brand in uh, 2002, so 20, 22 years ago. That's pretty nice also. Okay, text, we need text, add. Add text. Let me show you how you do an engraving in Blender there. Let's go to text. So you go to edit mode, copy paste, scale this. Let's bring this to geometry. Let's center this. I'm going to use another uh, font. Let's try let's find another font. Then I, I, I will make the gallery to complete the, the design because it's not completely finished just yet. Okay, let me try. Let me try this for a second. Give me a second. Okay, it's back. <laughs> Great. So, um, and hello to the camera. Like I said, because uh, the only angle for my camera is on the on on my right side there. Hello, hello there. So I almost never look at the camera. Sorry, it's not the best angle for, for filming my, me, but whatever, it's what we have. There's no space there in front, doesn't fit. Okay, let's use this. Nicer cursive font, let's set geometry right there. Now let's make it bigger. Okay, now we can solidify, add one. Okay, the scale, control A, scale. Uh, set this back to geometry, yes, here. Okay, let's see if it fits like there. Okay, this is good. Now we need the simple deform, but for that you always need a cube because of the orientation. So cursor to selected. Good. Cursor to selected, add mesh cube. Rotation is 90 degree on X, and this is the local cube for the form. And there you go, you get the text for engraving. And it works for 3D printing. Obviously, a lot of clients that prefer to make laser engraving, and it's true, generally, laser is still the best engraving tool and here okay so now we need a boolean the boolean might fail i know it won't fail because i already have the remeshing going on so text i don't but wait okay what happens is that i need to make a copy the the text is a curve so I'm going to make a copy of that and it needs to become a mesh. Okay, and now I can make the Boolean because you can't make Boolean of curves. Here we are, this is the engraving of the brand right there. So, because that design is for me, this is not for a client, so it comes with my brand, my marketing, etc., etc. And my designs generally are much more extravagant, elaborate than what I do for my clients, more artful also. And yeah, some people know that and they enjoy that quite a lot. Okay, so we need a gallery. Uh, we need a gallery. And for the gallery, I am going to... Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, have, I know what I'm going to do. So for the gallery, I'm going to use the same process uh, here. Let me show you. First, let's hide everybody from rendering that we don't need. Oh. That's great. Now, I need I need the inside. That's side, side point. Okay, so side. There's a solid size cutter somewhere. Size. Okay, it's this guy. Okay, I need a copy of this. There we go. Um, 
this one is going to be a project project projector i call that so we have this now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to work with the inside i need this and that and that's all now from here i'm going to work uh with curves yes so it means i'm going to take one of the side curves for well, this one i'm going to copy the curves i'm going to make curves on the finger it can go it can go below don't uh, get that wrong it must go on top so make a copy of that let's call this gallery and uh, let me move the gallery let me hide this this goes at zero now okay let's go here let's erase everybody because yes and let's start making the gallery then i put the position like i said you see the gray cylinder that's the size of the finger so nothing can go on the inside of that so i i will stay on top of that from the inside and it's going to work it's going to work really well so let's go here let's add Let's start working with that and uh, uh, do I have yeah, I, so I'm going to design from the top and then I'm going to flip the angles and I'm going to check the positions to always be on top of the finger okay it's very yeah it's very easy and uh well the the gallery is just one part uh of the design well it means it's not a it's a partial gallery because it's the bottom of the ring is clearly for the engraving so that's very that's great to have the The bottom of the ring is solid, so you can fit engravings. Clients, they always want customized engravings, like dates, names. And I mean, I'm a jeweler, I know that, so. Oh, this gallery is already starting to look, it's going to look great. So, so here today, I was here to really make a design. Uh, like, actually, I started the channel uh, years ago making such designs and that's over time that that's what made the channel and I was uh, yeah because generally I'm busy working for industrial clients or manufacturers so the designs are not that developed and generally I miss doing more attractive designs because i was trained to do this design so it's a shame it's honestly just a shame when i i'm not using my full potential and also to show that blender is just amazing uh, anything you you throw at it and uh yeah really take the occasion to show people maybe that don't know my work and uh or haven't seen more of my work outside of the channel and because it's funny uh there's always somebody there commenting that i do very simple designs and who knows what i mean i understand if you don't know uh, what i've done so far in 20 years of being a, a jeweler a jewelry designer a jewelry teacher the amount of drawings I've made, the amount of paintings I've made and sold, the amount of jewels I've manufactured and designed myself, etc., etc. I understand you, you don't necessarily know uh, what I've done so far, but normally if you do like five minutes of research on, on Google about my name and you have the name of the channel, so it's not that hard. Uh, 
I mean, obviously you need to be interested in, in what I do, but if you want to make, let's see, accurate, uh, should this cross? No, it shouldn't cross. Let's make it not cross. Yeah, you get the point. So it's not because my clients ask very simple design and most of the time I publish that on social media and only that because also the problem is I was explaining earlier uh, much of the designs I simply can't and some people yeah. they don't believe me but <laughs> it's very obvious why we're jewelers I can't publish everything I do we get copied so much uh, many jewelers don't design jewels they copy jewels so and I know because that's also why uh, creative jewelers are followed by well many people follow us to copy what we do it's not a bad thing I don't care in fact because people will know pretty soon where the, the the design came from so in the end it's me that they will be looking for and uh, that's why I design and some designs when I create the design live making designs for me uh, there's yeah, obviously people steal ideas and etc etc but I made I make so much designs per month that uh, well and also because I decided I don't care I don't care anymore I here to to share with anyone for any reason for good so I can't avoid bad reasons uh, if people want to copy my work like that and steal my ideas, well, they'll do that anyway. They'll do that, you know. You can't much. Well, obviously, you, you can't. Pre it's possible to prevent, and one of one of the the ways to prevent that is to simply not publish designs or the full creation of the design on the internet. Okay, so that's my choice i decided i don't care that much but because honestly i make so much so many designs so and also so very there's the amount and the variety of designs that uh oh man this part is not working goodbye part that is not working so we're going to start from Okay, so let me see yeah we're still so let me take okay I have an idea let's take the body of the ring right there okay perfect so that's the place for the gallery all right let's keep designing this um, gallery and let's finish this but you get you get the idea the, but the problem is very real and uh, so it means that I can't publish everything I do. I don't even have time to do that or the interest to do that. But also because uh, most private clients, uh, there it's very easy. I never publish that. So it means that generally the, the prettiest, the more interesting designs I make, I can't publish because the client can't take the risk especially if it's like a wedding ring or engagement ring custom design and a creative design we get the id stolen in less than a day this is the jewelry business you should know that and i know because well <laughs> they ask me to do that so obviously i can't we can't publish all the designs and we don't want to because the risk and also because simply the client, I know I ask, can I publish that? No, you can't. Sometimes, well, generally I don't even ask. Just if I really liked a design and the risk is a bit, yeah, sometimes the risk is smaller. So 
for any kind of reason. So the client is okay, we can publish. But uh, no, most of the time, the most interesting designs, and that happens to, to very famous brands like Cartier or uh, Tiffany and all, they publish parts of the designs and you won't see all the angles of the design. The only way to get uh, the copy really made is that uh, somebody has to buy the jewel, the original, and then they start copying Bulgari, uh, Tiffany, Cartier and all of that because everything that these brands do gets copied every day and um, it happens to big brands but it also happens to any creative jeweler that has some well i have many uh websites and many channels and all of that well channels i only have this channel but uh social media i'm always on social media so because somehow uh, i need to reach some public you know um and that's how it goes so from time to time i like yeah let's say i like to show off uh but it's also to uh make justice to all the years of uh, tradition, training, formation, sweat and blood that I have for training and that I went through or that I did to myself. And yeah, I mean, it would be like a musician. When, when you're a musician, you want people to hear the best music you do. So you necessarily need to, to, to get it out there. And yes, it happens in every field. It's good, it's bad, but well, that's the world. We're not, I'm, I won't change the world. <laughs> so, so it's that. But one of the side effect of that reality is that uh, what most people see of the work that I really do uh, every day is not representative of what I really do as an artist, as a designer. And I think that is not okay. So obviously people do what they can. Well, if that's what on social media, that's what you do. But the problem is that real life, it's not really on social media. That's not true. So that's also a bit responsibility of people to uh, understand that there's more behind uh, behind the curtain there's a lot more and i know some sometimes it seems unbelievable because it's a but it's very true <laughs> there there would be no reason for me to be like well there would there would have been maybe if i was a, a lot well, 20 years ago, it would have maybe had some meaning for me to lie about my, my work and say I do a lot more than what you see. But 20 years after, believe me, I did a lot more than what you can see. And there's no reason for me to, to lie about that. Just the facts. Just the facts. And the fact is that... To be the risk of being copied is always so present and also because uh, when you design for clients well the client doesn't want his design or uh, the design you made you customize customize for that client the client doesn't want people to know and he's right i don't want nobody to know what i did for that or that client i don't care and it's funny because they always ask me if I did, uh, yeah, I had famous clients, but in the end, I don't, most of the time you don't even know because uh, they have middlemen and it doesn't really matter for who I'm making the, the design, <laughs> honestly. Also, when I was younger, maybe it was important, but now I make so many designs of so many different kinds 
for so many for rich people for poor people because i don't always do crazy complicated expensive designs um, it wasn't my goal and was so sometimes if the client has an interesting concept a nice idea maybe the design is not too complicated because sometimes simple designs are very attractive and uh, it won't be expensive doesn't always have to be expensive for me to do the to make something for a client some clients have very low budgets and that's okay i mean it's not necessarily always a question of money and some clients they have a lot of money but they ask very ugly or boring designs and yes believe me that happens a lot and i say no i don't want to do that like weapons by example i did one weapon last year but generally i don't design weapons i'm against uh firearms so well no, i'm not against like a sport it's okay but it shouldn't be weapons out there uh it's too many people it's too dangerous so i don't like promoting some things i don't uh agree with for skulls maybe maybe i've designed a couple of skulls and people like them a lot but i don't like promoting death or violence or uh, you get the idea <laughs> it's uh and most designers don't care what they as long as they get paid i do care i do care because like i said earlier there's much more inside the design than just the money okay this is almost working but i don't like it so what am we okay i got an idea going to make this very simple we're almost there yeah but it's funny because this part yeah this part is not connecting okay i know so let's <laughs> get I'm going to get there. Let's get there. So this is a very simple. I ah, don't no, wait, 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 wait. That's not. This is a good idea. This, this one. This fits. Oh, you know what? Okay, let's try this. Correct orientation. Yes, this one needs this. Okay, we have that. Let's go on the inside of this. Okay, or this, who is that one? Okay, this is pretty good. And I still want one, one leaf-like. Yeah, yeah, this is correct. This is correct. This is very correct. Okay, so we're going to adapt that now. Let's flip this. Flip uh, switch direction. Let's adapt the orientation right there. Here. That's better. Okay, this seems pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And this means that I need something similar. Oh, let's flip it if necessary, right there. Here and there. Okay. 
Okay. So yeah, the, there's a, that big problem for uh, jewelry designers when you, you're creating your own designs to promote yourself, obviously, because, well, you need to make uh, marketing <laughs> and publicity somehow. So you need to be out there, but there's the, always the problem. And, and I know people, uh, because they own very famous brands here in Mexico, that made a lot of lawsuits and all of that, because obviously, uh, well, we have a registered brands and all the laws and all you want. But honestly, it's so complicated to, uh, to do something about it legally, unless you have a full-time legal team uh, working out there, finding people, copying your stuff and selling the stuff because you need to prove how much money they made, where they sold it, etc., etc. So you need pictures, papers, you need a private detective to, to do that. And I know people who've done that. I was at some point uh, close to having to do that, but they retracted and they stopped doing that and they made no money. So they, they stopped because I was lucky. But, uh, and my brand was not, it's not that big on the market to my, my work is, is much appreciated uh, between private clients. So I get recommended a lot, but like I said, so we have all of that. So the gallery is done. Huh. The question is now, uh, where, where is the rest? <laughs> Maybe I erased the rest. I hope I didn't. Um, yeah. What was the name of... Uh... Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay, so this... No, wait a second. This is what I can hide. So now, the decorations, they're on the finger. Yes, but I need to take all the tilts and I want the tilts to come towards the finger like this. It's much prettier. Okay, and now the problem is that... Okay, here I need to use a small trick because now we are inside the finger. You can see clearly the circle and the gallery is uh, not properly placed. But because it's on a circle, I can't just move it like that. So I need to take this profile there, make a copy of it, make it a gallery uh, pause, pause position, gallery pause. And what's going to happen? This is a curve, so I can go to geometry on the curve. Geometry on the curve. So the bevel object is the, the new profile. So I change it to this one. And what's going to happen now is that I can take the profile and there's a trick you can do in Blender. You take the profile and the position on the Y or X or whatever axis, I'm going to take it and move it. Okay, and we can see that it's moving. <laughs> it's obviously moving the profile. So I want it more on the here. So now the gallery, when you look at it, it's correctly placed, not invading the finger anymore, except maybe for one detail or so. So I'm going to correct. Let's see who's coming out. Who, who, who let the dogs out? That's not this one. I can't even see which one. Okay, it's the middle, middle, it's this guy. Okay, so front view. And because this is, I need to adapt yeah here and we're good now maybe there and maybe so then i will have to check if that doesn't affect the shapes but the thing is now the gallery okay so that's perfect i need to readapt here by example i need to go to the left to the right and lower to position it 
um, inside the, the side rail there my example and this is great okay that's pretty good what I can do here is go on X uh, now this one this one ain't who's the other one I need the other hey right it's this side I guess so first this one a bit smaller okay and there correct ending I can adapt the tilt now and uh, yeah so this is going to make a very pretty gallery and uh, now what do we have here <laughs> who is that ah yeah that's that one so oh, wait this one here let's make it end it here and tilt there So yeah, copyright brands and all, it's always a huge problem. So that's what I decided when I started the channel. I said, you know what? Well, or I stopped caring about that that much. Or I simply won't, or, or I don't make any channel. Because it would make no sense. Um, at all. What happened to that guy? <laughs> Why is it breaking that much? That I need to investigate. What happened to this guy? All right. Okay, almost done. Just this shape is a bit weird. That's sad, it was perfect earlier. Ah, I know, do I know? Yeah, this orientation. Yeah, I yeah, am here. <laughs> okay, so now I need to repair this somehow. Almost there. It's a bit of a rebel zone there. Okay, this one more here. Okay, that's a bit better. here a bit smaller again oh no 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 come on oof okay great <laughs> that's because the software wants to freeze like every one every now and then okay we're not coming out so this is good now this can be a bit more here and uh, okay that's the gallery so i think uh, this is more than complete yeah it's true it has been a long time that i i wasn't doing any re really spectacular or interesting design on the channel <laughs> and uh yeah that's why uh this weekend i was thinking about that and um i said to myself you know what it's time to do 
Uh, and because it's funny, I have time, but I don't really have time to make tutorials these days because uh, it takes me because I produce I'm producing a lot of videos and uh, <laughs> so it, it's a bit ironic because I do have some times to make tutorials, but I don't have time to record them and make the addition because I need my time for other things. And um, yeah, with I was uh, thinking about that and uh, the conclusion was that I have to make a, um, a uh, live stream because yeah, people um, enjoyed that as a tutorial. And uh, so obviously live streams are always uh, a lot longer than the tutorials, but now let me adapt this shape there. Let me, now we're done. Let's, okay, so this is, this is great. I've completed this design. So we can see this is pretty much real time. That's the time it would take me, uh, ah, and the camera is gone again. <laughs> software, there's a software that closes every 30 minutes and, um, uh, it ends the camera. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello, I'm back again. So, this is this is great. So, real time. I was streaming for five hour, five hours, fifteen minutes, sixteen minutes. That long? <laughs> well, but that's not bad at all for such a design. Honestly, it's. It's a very complete design and the level of the design, this is already, uh, this is high jewelry, no doubt, uh, for the, the amount of uh, stones, the amount of uh, technique and in the volume of creating. This is like architecture, Baroque architecture brought to the jewelry and um, and really okay the last thing i'm going to do i'm going to take one of the small diamonds so it's worth like five hours this is great for the level of uh, the design i mean no doubt so like i said earlier you might not like this style but you have to uh the professional knows to recognize the work that has been done the work is done so you might not want this design for your brand you don't want to manufacture that for your clients but okay so here i want a small gemstone on the side inside the heart x and y just on x and it's going to be a diamond, yes. And I need, um, well, I just need a small prong, honestly. Okay, so go to prongs, prongs. I need a small prong, prong. So this is great because it's great for me. I enjoy a lot doing this because it allows me to, to express, uh, many aspects of my techniques or um, art concepts and emotions and knowledge and all of that. And uh, people love to watch how such a design is made from beginning to finish. And also because there's still too many people out there that think that Blender is not as powerful as matrix or tree design and things like that well the problem is not much the software you use the problem is you the problem is you you make it work the software well obviously you need some functions in the software oh you know what i'm going to put it also here because the idea is you make, you make the design work, you make the solution of the design. And for that, it's all your experience as a designer and not much the software. But obviously if the software doesn't have certain functions, you will have uh, issues. 
but then also because yeah other softwares like matrix or tree design they do have more specialized function but it would not be i can beat anyone you want on matrix or tree design using blender that's a fact and uh yeah people know that uh, already for they know that for a long time and i'm not here to to do that actually but honestly honestly because it would not be a good idea to challenge me uh, in modeling software at all and even in design or whatever because first this, what do you want to challenge you i'd be faster than you uh, i'll do something more interesting than you faster than you uh, because it's my job actually i get paid more because i'm faster than than yeah, that's what I do. My clients contact me because I need this now or tomorrow. I'm going to pay you that much. That it's that good? Yes. And they they know they'll have their design tomorrow tomorrow morning and that's why they work with me. Most people will do that in a week, in two weeks maybe. I do that in one day or half a day or a couple of hours and uh, for me it's normal obviously i wouldn't recommend you to do that uh it's way you wouldn't enjoy it <laughs> it's too complicated and you would suffer uh i don't suffer anymore because i've been doing this for decades this has been my job for decades and it still is my job so this Okay, now the prongs, I was saying the prong, this needs a small mirror. And well, I won't have time to make the render today, that's a fact. But obviously I will be making a render of this uh, when I have some time. So, this is pretty great. Top view, side view, front view, first um, isometric view. And you know what we're going to go with a well actually i could well let's go at black background first this is classy okay so isometric view and this ring is not, not going to be uh too heavy because it's completely hollow so that was already taken care of uh, it's totally manufacturable. I didn't do anything really outside the jewelry norms in terms of uh, jewelry settings. Uh, the size of the gemstone, the pearl is eight millimeters. The, the hollow diamonds, they're two millimeters. This one is two millimeters and the small ones here are 1.5 millimeters. Millimeters, <laughs> sorry, millimeters. Uh, these are two millimeters on the inside and that's not even too crazy because nothing is uh, invading the finger this is a very classic conservative design but it has a very contemporary flavor also because it's made with technology and it helps creating I mean, to create such a design with normal, with traditional techniques, you would, you would need weeks. Uh, in 3D, I do that in five hours. And this gets 3D printed. It can be manufactured this week. Well, tomorrow, past tomorrow, it's going to take maybe one day to polish the ring and one day to set the stones. It's going to take... So it's one day, to the design, one day for designing, casting, printing one day for the jeweler to polish the ring and one day for the gemstone setter to, to set the gemstones. It, so let's say we have other things to do. It's going to take maybe one week. Uh, with traditional uh, handmade manufacturer, this ring would take a couple of weeks. And yeah, the 3D printing is going to make it a bit better so that's how it goes and i've been doing that for 20 years <laughs> so it's uh i don't 
realize anymore. For me, I, I don't know what a beginner would take or even if, if you can do that. Oh, here there's more detail. So obviously I need to check some details here and there. But this is great. Right there at the center. So obviously the designer needs to take care of all the aspects, of the design, every detail, because with resin printing and casting, the precision of the designs is super ultra high. I mean, the printing resolution now is 20 microns. A micron is a millesimal of a millimeter. <laughs> so it's a thousandth part of the millimeter. A hair is 200 times bigger than the precision we have for 3D printing in jewelry. And that's very common printing nowadays. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you had a great time following the elaboration of uh, this uh, pearl and Topaz and diamond yellow gold ring in Blender. Uh, my name is Damien Rohrbach. So um, if you want some uh, 3D jewelry custom design made, or I also do other type of modeling and 3D materials uh, creation because some clients love my uh, material assets. And also you can find my assets on the Blender market. So if you want something modeled, just uh, Instagram or YouTube or yeah, generally now it's everything through uh, YouTube and Instagram most of the time. LinkedIn sometimes or Facebook, but no, not that much. Okay, so uh, I hope you had a great time. Thanks for uh, everybody following the stream. And this is um, this is it. So I stream for more than five hours nonstop. I'm a bit tired, but this is perfect for my schedule because now I'm going to eat, I'm going to relax, and then actually I, I will be back at the computer, but I won't be streaming because I need to do uh, designs for our clients. They're already paid, so I have a lot of work. One needs to be delivered like tomorrow morning, so I need to do it now. And I will keep doing that a couple of hours more. And this is uh, my everyday work. Uh, and yes, sometimes I do have to design even more complex uh, designs for, for clients because this one has no sculpting, by example. But sometimes there's a lion or there's a bird like a phoenix or an eagle or a bear. Actually, I've done all the animals you can dream of from any type, from spiders to snakes to eagles, bears, all you want in all type of rings, pendants, necklaces, <laughs> bracelets, all you can imagine, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So again, uh, it was very nice having you today. Thanks for um, everybody following my, my work and supporting my work, and thanks again. I will be streaming more uh, these weeks because like I said, I have time, but I don't have time to make tutorials because I don't have the energy to make the tutorials, but I do have a lot of energy to make creation and designs and live streams because I do it and it's done. I don't need to rethink and re-edit things and all of that. So that's the technical reason and that's when I make live streams because my brain is not so much available to think that much, but I'm very creative, so I have time to make live streams. So, thanks again. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this stream. And uh, take care, and see you soon.